Hello? <laughs> Is that better? Can you hear me now? Are we good? Did I, did I do the thing? Did I do the thing? Okay, hello. My wig is not sitting on my head properly today, and I'm very sad about it. Pars, thank you for the 21 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. I did the thing. All right. I mean, I can like, I can keep it up. I don't mind. We, I can even do it like this. I can even vibe like this. I mean, I'm cutting some of y'all off, but that's okay. How's everybody doing? I am so, I'm so, I'm so excited. I have my food. I'm gonna be bringing some shadows. We're gonna be finishing the game. Well, not the game, but the X-Pack. Oh my God, I'm, I'm fucking stoked. I got my food. Oh wait, I got my food. I got a poke bowl that I will be scorfing down. Now, chat. Before we get into the game, oh, I'll show you, don't worry, I'll show you, I'll show you all the food, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Before we get into the game, I want to discuss Shadowbringers with y'all, because most people know, um, my memory is very bad, um, and I know I'm going to forget some plot points, and I do have some questions and some things that I just want to talk about, but first, let me show you the food. Don't get too jealous now, Okay. gonna go right inside of me <laughs> you can't show food on food and expect us to not be jealous suck it up suck it up suck it up suck it up i hope all of y'all are prepared by the way get your water bottles which i actually have to do right now so get your water bottles go pee do all of those things i'm gonna grab my water bottle and then i'll i'm gonna start asking y'all some questions I wish that were me. Relatable. I've never heard you speak before, and I'm always surprised when I hear people talk for the first time. Also, hello. I feel like a lot of people are very surprised by my voice. Like, no one thinks that I sound like this, but I do. And, like, I don't know what to tell y'all. I got my piss ball right next to my water ball. Fuck yeah. As you should. Don't get them mixed up, though, Ray. I know that's something that would happen to you. <laughs> um, there was somebody else that was new here. Hi, not McDiesel. What's up? And there was somebody else. There it is. Calcifer the Balrog. Haven't been able to watch in a while, and even then, usually lurk, but I'm so excited for you to finish Shatterbringers. Hello, Calcifer! It's nice of you to join chat! Thank you so much for lurking and supporting. Don't worry, do not feel pressured to talk in the chat. I know it can be overwhelming, and some people just like to, you know, hang in the shadow bringers. Ha! Okay, let me get my water. Um, not eventful or dramatic because my fridge is right beside me. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't call me out? Well, learn to pee better. If I'd known there'd be a test, I would have studied more. <laughs> it's not a test. I just want to talk about Shadowbringers a little bit because it's been on my mind and I still haven't been able to process everything that's happened in the last two days with this game. Like, it has just been a whirlwind adventure and I am lost. Not even that I'm lost, I just I just have some things that I want to talk about. That's all. And so if y'all would humor me, I would appreciate that. Piss is just recycled water, but does that mean you should be drinking it? Like, does piss taste good? Is piss something that would taste good, do you guys think? I don't want to try it and find out, so maybe I'll wait for Ray to let me know. Because if it's just recycled water, shouldn't it just taste like water? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just fucking tell me that astronauts drink their pee? Do they not have water up there? Is there no space water? 
Ooh, that's true. It would depend on the diet. I guess that goes for poop as well then, right? Like, poop is just what you eat. And so would eating poop actually be that bad for you? Reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just ruining the illusion and fixing my, my wig real quick. Fire, where would space water come from? <laughs> like, what are they bring with them to space, you know? Not like, not like, <laughs> not water in space! Isn't that just the plot of The Martian starring Matt Damon? The plot of The Martian is Matt Damon drinking his pee? It's will he, won't he? They stay up there for months to years at a time. It'd take up too much room. So they l astronauts drink pee. Y'all aren't shitting with me. You're not fucking with me. Astronauts drink piss. There's lots of seas on the moon. There must be plenty of water up there. Moon water, baby. Forget moonshine. I want some of that moon juice. Give me that moon water. The pee is filtered out and turned back into pure water. Okay, hold on. Sarnix, you're getting too heated about this. Mr. Mr. Piss Extraordinaire. How do you know? How do you know so much about pee in space? Huh? I'm sorry, what the fuck? You're telling me I'm just pissing out blood? <laughs> Sarnax is an astronaut. You're right. My bad. He would know. He would know. Oh, you want to know what I got in my in my bowl? Rice, red peppers, green onions, red onions, avocado. Um, there should be sesame seeds, but I don't see any. A lot of teriyaki sauce and karage chicken. Your kidneys make urine by filtering waste and extra water from your blood? Wow. I am learning so much today. I never thought I would admit that chat was smart. But here I am. Chat knows things. Maybe I'm the dumb one. Maybe everyone on Twitter is right. Maybe I am just a dumb leftist woke bitch. You see this? I can't hide my baby hairs. They're too baby. With piss, don't hit from outside the club. Can't even get in. What song is that again? Isn't that a song? Ha ha ha! Lego. Pew. Pew. What song is that? That's a song. Anyways, I think my. My makeup is staining my wig. Okay, sorry. Don't mind me, chat. I'm just trying to fix my wig. Okay, that's the best I can do. So, I made it worse. So, no? What? Oh, no. It's Vlad. Oh, no. Okay. So, I want to talk about Shatterbringers, all right? I'm going to ask some questions, and I want answers. For once, these are not rhetorical. This is actually me... Telling y'all my thoughts so we can discuss it. Fuck with the pledges, thank you, weapon. Okay. Ready? Alright. So. Is Heidelin the bad guy here? She was the one who split the worlds, right? Into like 14 different worlds, I believe. 14 or 13? So Zodiac was supposed to preserve Amorat? Um. Which, wait. Yeah, Zodiac was supposed to preserve Amorat. Or whatever it's called. Um, but that's ironic because according to Emmett, correcting correcting Heidelin's boo-boo means genocide. 
That gets explained later? Okay, so no answers then. Okay, so that will be explained. All right. But like, that's what I've just been like thinking on. That's what I've been stewing on for the last like two hours. Because we've been led up to believe this whole time that Hydaelyn was like our, like, what do you even call her a god? But she was like, you know, yeah, like our god, basically. And she was supposed to be full of good. And she's, I figured, well, we freaking out. She's just a fucking rock um, that spoke to us. But yeah, it's like mind-blowing to be like, actually wrong, she's not. And so then, oh, my, my next prompt, um, I'm still not simping for Emmett. Maybe if he had white hair and didn't smell like sewer rats. <laughs> maybe maybe if he didn't stink so bad and he had pretty white hair like a stinian maybe just maybe, I'd be a simp. Okay. What's Ardbert's purpose? He wasn't able to move on, like, move on to the afterlife or whatever, um, like his friends. Is it because he hasn't found peace yet? Will he, and, and, will he save me? Because I'm dying with, like, the light warden bullshit inside of me. Um, will he save me by fusing his spirit with my body? That's what I'm- that's what I'm wondering. So obviously don't answer these questions if there's- if- like, it's spoilery. But, that's what I'm wondering. Because he has yet to find his purpose. He's walking the lonely road, the old him is dead and gone, you know? And so... That's what... That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't see... How my character can continue without dying. Like, if this game ended with Shadowbringers, the way that I would see it is that you make a heroic sacrifice, you save the world, you die. You know, like, that kind of thing? But, with Ardbert, it really feels like they're, they're going to be pushing the idea of him finding his peace by, like, saving me. Like, not being a failure, not fucking up for once, and actually doing good, actually being able to save me. You know? Um. Let's see. Um, the Oracle of Light imbued all of their power into Reen, which means no more rebirth, which is wild, which means now I have to protect the baby. But that got me thinking. Are there, like, any more reens out there? Because what I have learned so far, or at least what I believe to be understanding, is that there is a version of me in every world, right? Like, Ardbert was a version of me, basically, right? There's a version of me everywhere, so does that mean there's a version of reen everywhere? Is there another reen of some kind? But I doubt it because it's just like it's been one rebirth of Minfilia over and over and over again. So maybe there's only the one Minfilia. But there can't be because if there's another me, the warrior of light, then there should be... I don't know. I don't know. Um... Oh! What the fuck is gonna happen? Okay, this is one that y'all can answer, maybe. I hope, I hope this one isn't spoiler territory. But what the fuck is gonna happen to all of the Yulmorans? They've all, like, they've all been consuming mule and, like, sin eaters. With, with light van vanishing and darkness returning, do they find peace? I guess it's- okay, with Ray's smile, I can only assume- Fuck! All, oh my god, I can't even, like, speculate with chat! Oh no, she's the only Minfilia- Minfilia left. She's born to be Minfilia's reflection. Oh! So Minfilia's the only one who can't- who isn't, like- 
I was gonna say regurgitated, like, um, duplicated or like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I can't find the right words right now. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I have one more. Um, why did Emmett want to push the flood? I don't remember if I learned about this. It's because it'll destroy the world and merge with the source again, right? Like the rejoining? Didn't he also try recruiting me because of the light inside of me? Like, I'm, I was trying to remember, that, like, so much was happening that I could not, I could not, like, really focus on the narrative because I was just, like, I, w I went from almost crying to being, like, what the fuck is going on? I got so much whiplash, you know? It's all part of the rejoining. Okay. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So... So... For the re... So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. To, for the rejoining, they need to destroy each world that Heidelin produced except for the main one? Which isn't the source. But if it's... I... I don't know. That that's what I'm that's what I'm getting. Not destroy. Okay, so oh, okay, so the source like is literally the source. The source is the first one. Well, the first. The source is the main one. Oh, and that explains what what the Garleans or whatever, Xenos and or Edible and Xenos and fucking whatever his name was, were discussing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. To like regain power over the source and whatever, because the source Okay, okay. Okay. Right? I'm I'm am I on the right page here? I think I am. I think I'm getting it. Man, this wig is really irritating my head. I'm not gonna lie. Edible. Hi, Grandma! How are you? The Elder Bussy. What do we prefer? Elder Bussy or Edible? Someone make a poll so I know what to say. Magic school bus that works too. Oh my god, my makeup. Oh, that's not me. I forgot to spray my face. I'm not sure where you got the Ardvert being us. Oh, no, I'm just speculating. That's what you do when you play games, you speculate, you know. Because, like, I just kept, like, thinking about how, like, each character has a version of themselves in some way in another world. Not necessarily, like, another Pepper, but, like, some other character like them. Speculating is half the fun. Yeah! I don't really care if I'm right or if I'm wrong, but I'm always right. <laughs> um, I don't care if, if I'm right or wrong. I just like to, to speculate. It's fun. Because this is my first time going through the game, right? Like, I don't care if it's like shit coming out of my ass. Look, listen. How much shit, random ass shit in this game have I foreshadowed that came true? And I just pull them out my ass. I just go, whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Chat, take it. Chat, take it. Take my shit. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't care, like, how absurd some of them sound. It's just, it's part of the fun. Um, I'm scared, though. Um, I knew Grahatia would, would die. I knew, okay, first of all, I knew it was Grahatia. Mr. Bridgerton. Um... 
But I remember, I remember, I, I, I don't, re well, okay. There was a scene kind of at the beginning not with the bunnies, but it's where, when we got the Amaro, and we had to fly somewhere, and Emmett was standing on a tower, and he was like looking at Grahatia, I think it was Grahatia, or maybe it was me. It was somebody, he was looking at somebody, and he was like, I think he was plotting, like how they would, like how they would not die, but like, I think he was, he was plotting to kill them or something. And so there was a part of me that was like, oh, and Emmett's probably gonna kill somebody. Like, this has to take a turn. Because it was too, like, oh, I'm on your side. Well, not on your side, but oh, I, I'm, I'm, I wanna work with y'all. So, something was fishy. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. And, but, like, that's also why I'm really thinking that, like, Ardbert is gonna, like, come in and save me. Like, it's not gonna be Emmett, it's gonna be him. But, em but then he said, I have to go to him if I can't bear it anymore. What does that fucking mean? Like, is he gonna kill me? Is he gonna take the light from me? Is he gonna quickly transform me? I don't know. <gasps> hey, Davey! Hello. Alright. I hope my mods are doing a good, a good deed. Um, because I'm, I'm not really looking at chat. Because I can see y'all are deleting a lot of messages. <laughs> Sarnix, I think you could just do command... No. Command spoiler? Or command FF... XIV? Um. Yeah. Like, if I'm asking a question, 99% of the time it's rhetoric, but... But... That being said, if I ask something that has already been very clearly brought up in the narrative and I'm just misunderstanding or mis- or forgetting, then you can correct me. But if I'm just speculating, don't say shit. No, I did not just do that. I did not just do that. A smile better suits a spoiler? Get the fuck! No shot. I love it. I love it. Fuck y'all, but I love it. <laughs> Look, you're living on in my chat. We didn't forget you. Okay. Well, I think I am missing one. Anyway. So, um, what made me start or want to try Final Fantasy XIV? So I've been avoiding this game like the plague because I knew I would get sucked into it. I really like fantasy games. I've never played a Final Fantasy game, but I do like the genre. So I knew that once I, once I, oh, sorry, that once I start playing, that'll be it for me. It'll be game over. And I was right. So, when N. Walker was coming out, I kept seeing it more and more and more on my timeline. And a good friend of mine, um, he started tweeting about it and teasing me about not playing and how I should. And so one day I was like, fuck it, elder bussy one, bet. Um, and so then I was like, fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna download the game, I'm gonna try it out. I made a Lollafell, didn't get far. And then he told me, oh, you should have joined the cat army. And I was like, bet. And so then I made Peppermint. And the fact that I got the name Peppermint, it got me really attached to her, like, very quickly. And the rest is history. Now I'm here. In hell. <laughs> Nothing dramatic. Nothing crazy. But it's his fault for my addiction.
I'm just gonna eat a little bit more food. Don't mind me. I'm actually really hungry. So, I'm gonna put y'all over here. I'm just gonna eat some food. And then we're gonna dive into the MSQ, alright? Sounds good?
All right, chat. Are we ready? Is it trauma time? All right. I have only one question. Am I gonna cry? Because what was my cry counter at? I'm pretty sure Shadowbringers still, it, I, it still hasn't gotten me. It's gotten me a couple of times. Yeah, it's 22 because of yesterday, yes. Because when, when the Graha reveal happened, it, it did make me very emotional. It For that moment, I think what really made it hit was the transition from the normal dialogue box to the, um, to the, to the cutscene caption style. Like, the cinematic cutscene caption style. That got me. That really fucking got me. You know what? Before we get into the, into the ending of Shadowbringers, can, no. I was gonna say, can we watch the trailer one more time? But, like... I don't know what that's gonna even serve. I haven't even seen Shadowbringers final form. Oh! Do it? Okay. I really, I really wanna watch it one more time. It, Cause like, it does feel like I've forgotten so much of it. Like, I just, I just wanna, you know? I just wanna watch it again. I did watch the, the video that you posted. I just wanna, I just wanna watch it again, real quick. Endwalker's gonna be a nightmare for me because I'm gonna forget everything. <laughs> Every stream, I'm gonna be like, chat, what happened? Chat, what happened? Chat, what happened? Oh, oh, it's so good. <laughs> It's so good! How many years have come and gone since that day? Oh man, that fucking fight? I forgot about that fight. How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one that stood oh, alone I against fucking... the storm. Oh. Good job reminding you. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't be too lost then. For the one they called. Wait. That's. Is that Mr. The Bridgerton? Of light. That's Mr. Bridgerton, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I can call him. He's not Grahati to me. That's Mr. Bridgerton. <laughs> Is this too loud for y'all, by the way? Heineken! 
Pinky B, how are you? Welcome. What say First spot, the right? Lost I think so, yeah. Oh my god, remember when I thought Master Michelle died? We may died? accept this fate or defy it, but we cannot deny it. And I was like, oh my god, she's honoring her! This was... Denied. I am not wont to run from my troubles. Was this Ronka? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this trailer takes place right before Shadowrun is actually start, right? Because that was the destruction, and when we meet Isola, the place is already in ruins, like when we meet Isola and the Night Bless. Right? Until our friend returns, I will hold the line. Does she mean me when she says that? Am I the friend? When I return? Right, because Urian J, he knows that I'm coming back, right? Because he saw it or whatever, right? This town certainly Remember, has, has changed. Yeah. Everyone first. else has been here for like a couple of years, right? And Alfino and Ali say for only like one year or something like that? Because when I meet them, they're now like 17, right? Because yeah. time runs differently in the first. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Minfilia. Oh, baby. foreshadowing fucking narrative choice like become the warrior of darkness by quite literally merging with him to save me from my death which is gonna save the i don't know i don't know but that's what i'm going with i'm so fucking excited chat i have been waiting for this moment i am so happy to be playing this game and like actually finally be really invested in the narrative like stormblood really lost me i like i gotta i didn't cry i was laughing this is me laughing i didn't fucking cry what did i fucking cry about me forgetting that that was the crystarium no what if we fuck ardbert how a ghost um but yeah stormblood lost me completely Heaven's Ward had me fucking sucked raw and dry and hard, man. Heaven's Ward really fucked me up. So it's it's been it's been a jarring shift to go from something that really emotionally impacted me. Every aspect of that fucking 
X pack hit me. It hit heartstrings that I didn't know were there. Um. Um, Stormblood completely lost me, but the buildup for Shadowbringers in post Stormblood was pretty good. But so far, Shadowbringers has been just narratively very. I almost want to say gripping, but like a, a different word. But it's it's just it's it's got me in like like I'm just trapped in the narrative, and I want to keep enthralled. That's the word. And like I'm just I want to keep going. I want to know more. Like I act like I actively want to keep playing the MSQ. It was killing me knowing that like I couldn't do it off stream and I didn't have the spoons to stream. Cause like God, like I have to fucking wait, you know? Oh, but anyways. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so Pepper's got new digs. So, in, during yesterday's stream, we were talking about how maybe Pepper could have white armor. But I thought about it a little bit more, and I decided, no, it looked like shit on her. But also, what I was thinking is that maybe during the the fight with, um, with Vothri and the whole f shenanigans, garbage with Emmett and Grahatia, what if Pepper's armor just got absolutely destroyed? Like, obviously, like, the animation didn't give us much, but with all of the white, like, pouring out, the light pouring out, and Pepper, like, coughing up, like, light blood? I thought, okay, maybe her armor is now destroyed. She no longer has got her armor. It's, like, fucked up. It's being mended somewhere. So what if she pulled out some new garbs from the Crystarium? And I couldn't really figure out, like, what aesthetic I would go for because I couldn't really figure out what the aesthetic of the Crystarium was. So I went based off of what the Crystal Exarch has been wearing and, like, the Ocularis or the Ocularum? The Ocular? Whatever it was called. And so I decided to just go with the, to go with the fit that kind of resembled that. And so I, I went with this armor. It's kind of gladiatory but i thought i thought it'd be i thought it'd be good so this is what pepper will be wearing for the time being until i decide to swap back to her um her other armor when i believe it's been mended i like creating little bits of lore oh no pepper don't show your armpits if there's anything i've learned is that people will sip for those armpits they will tell you dirty defiling things about your armpits put them away okay so we gotta go speak with Broggy. i don't even remember who the fuck that is Oh my god, my wig is irritating the fuck out of my scalp. Looks good, thank you. Thanks, y'all. We love a good lore reason for an outfit change. Hell yeah. Considering she hasn't changed too much since the beginning of the game, well, I mean, she has changed a lot, but like none of it was lore related. I thought, uh, I thought it was time. Not the pepper pits. Well, well, look who's back from the dead. Aye, it was a grim sight. Your companions looked fair, ready to drop when they brought you in. So I offered a helping hand. Couldn't bear to see them struggle, so... Oh my god, right! And Reen saved me! Didn't she, like, subdue some of the light? Fuck! Oh my god, the baggage! <laughs> and you, my friend, I fear you had one foot in the grave. Cold and lifeless you were, like a corpse that was somehow still breathing. And then they told me some evil bastard went and snatched out poor Exarch away in the midst of the chaos. Wicked white, what is this world coming to? But, but moaning never mo oh, 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 let me restart that. But but moaning never solved a thing, didn't did it? Nay, it's time like these that we Crystarium folks stand tall and do what needs to be done. Paired with you, Amora is back on the table. We'd best make use of those resources to fortify the city against the eaters, or whatever misery the fates deem fit to throw at us next. Speaking of misery, Chesamel was worried sick about you. A healer wringing her hands. It's not a sight you ever wish to see, let me tell you. Right, I forgot about her. Wasn't she the one that healed Thancred? When Thancred and Reen came with us to the Crystarium? I think that was her. And me and Reen had to do some fetch quests to get some, like, herbs for him, I think. 
Can you imagine these folks that had never lived with the night sky and they get a few days and weeks and then it's back to light? I know. They must, like, they apparently they're all very anxious and I'm not surprised. Like, I'd be fucking horrified. It's like you think the, you think, like, salvation is near, but in reality it's the end. Oh, oh, sweetie, you're alive. No one's been allowed to see you. Even Spagrick's chirurgeons were forbidden from making visits. Marine was kind enough to tell me you were showing symptoms similar to eater corruption, so I suppose there was any... I suppose there was little any of us could have done for you in any case. As for your companions, they've been rushing hither and yon, seeking a cure to your condition. I worry to see their faces grown ever more haggard every time they pass through the Crystarium. I shall let them know you're awake, and when they come to you, sweetie, please do convince them to rest a bit. They won't be helping anyone if they all collapse of exhaustion. Oh, and our own Morin has been a little better, I'm afraid. He hasn't left the cabinet, too busy with his nose buried in one dusty tome or another. That was the librarian? Right? I owe her a treat? Fuck no. I want the treats! Nice hair? Thank you. Yeah, it's like, it is not staying on my head today. I think it's because like I fucked up my, my wig cap underneath. And so there's like no grip. There's like no good grip. Well, let me see if I could just do this. Someone's talking about grip? Yeah, but not your toes. Do not remind me of your toes. It's okay if you need to take the wig off. Fuck no. I am dedicating myself to this for as long as I can, okay? I am determined. I don't know where to go, to be quite honest, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm committed to the bit. I'm committed. God, the music here really is a treat. It's so pretty. Okay. I just want a TP. Can I please? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm just literally running in circles. Okay, let's see if I could just TP. The Whispering Gallery, the Cabinet of Curiosity. There we go. So I go up. Yeah, he's all the way at the top, right? Oh, this place is beautiful. I'm surprised I haven't G posed here yet. I should, when the night returns. Assuming it does. Oh my god. You know what's also like really fun to digest and something that I love? I love knowing that we failed. I love knowing that Pepper fucked up. Well, she didn't fuck up, but like we literally failed. I love that. It's never just like, oh yeah, we're winning, we're winning, we did the thing. Happy, happy, we're all so happy and cheery it's like no 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 things backfire i like it confound it this says the same thing as the last mayhap i should approach the problem from a different perspective pepper is it truly you and not some figment of my imagination mm -hmm. oh but this is wonderful to see more prayers have been answered Feeling otherwise helpless, I've been scouring our shelves with the wisdom to explain this most worrisome conundrum. Why, with all the light worn as defeated, has the light returned to obscure the sky? I must have poured over a hundred tomes, but no definitive conclusion seems forthcoming. So many questions I would pose to the Exarch, and thus do I feel his absence all the more keenly. Now that you are awake, however, I am hopeful the search of our stolen steward might begin in earnest. Catalyst, meanwhile, leads the crystalline mean in preparations for battle. So against what foe, we are as yet uncertain. Why not pay her a visit? I expect seeing you upright would be a much welcome relief. Man! I literally just woke up from a coma. I just had the most traumatic experience of my life. And now making me go say hi to everybody? Why can't they come to me? You're getting outplayed with an immediate retcon is super refreshing. Yes. Yes, I like it. 
We have more games need catastrophic failure? Yes, I agree. I agree. I like it when things don't have like immediate happy endings. I want my character to struggle. I want my character to make mistakes. I want my character to feel flawed, you know? Like, and here is like my thing too. Man, I really might have to take off the wig. It's really bothering me. Um, my thing too, at least like with Pepper, or with the Warrior of Light, is that like, why the fuck am I always the solution to everything? I am always the savior. I am always the answer. So seeing me be the reason for the light returning? Oh, chef's kiss. Oh, they're the savior. Well, not everyone knew that. We kind of kept it hush hush, but oh, the warrior of light is the savior. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, the warrior of darkness is this. Oh my God, they're killing all the light wardens and now night is returning. Oh my God, they're so cool. If they can't do it, no one can! And now? Oh, the turns have tabled. Pepper! Alive and well, I see. You gave us all a proper fri fright, you know that? Not a day's gone by that I haven't heard folk worrying what's to become of you or the Exarch. Anyway, I'm glad you've recovered enough to stand. You're not planning on striking out straight away, though, are you? I was hoping to have a better look at your equipment. If we'd been able to provide you with better weapons or sturdier helms, then maybe you would have won the day, and the Exarch would still be here. As such, we're keeping busy consulting each other on new foraging techniques and designs and the like. If you could stand still for a moment, I'd like to assess the gear we're trying to improve. I swear to god, if you put me in some ugly ass shit... Aye, well, oh fuck. <laughs> it wouldn't be impossible to make something better, but we need to experiment with different patterns and materials. And I'm not sure we have that kind of time. That sounds like a challenge that he would enjoy. Who is this balding man? Greetings, Glenard. The master of the stairs is running his own errands now, is he? I, well, my servers are distraught enough as it is, and I didn't want to crack the whip too hard. Sir? Oh, I don't, I don't like that phrasing. But never mind that. I'm thinking our absent genius and his epiphanies are the perfect answer to this predicament of yours. By genius, you mean old Grenault? He is a man of unrivaled gifts. I won't argue with you there. What good does this hounds do, do us if we can't bloody find him? No one's seen hide nor hair of Grinalt since he wandered off some years ago. You know what he's like once he latches onto an idea. He's probably cloistered himself in some forgotten cave, completely absorbed in his latest creation. He wouldn't even know where to start looking. That does make things difficult. Still, if that eccentric is someone if that eccentric is someone you're destined to meet, I wager he'll show up soon enough. In my time at the bar, ah, Right, many is the tale I've heard told of strangely fated encounters, even if a few of them might be stretching the truth just a bit. We'll keep our noses to the grindstone for the time being, but on the off chance you do encounter Grinald, you'll, you'd be wise to take advantage of his brilliance rather than wait on our slow and steady progress. This is all talk for when you're fully recovered, of course. I'll let you get back to convalescing? Convul- convalescing? I don't know that word. Like, look at this. Do you see this? I have so many baby hairs. I can't even hide them all. Ah, uh, before you do that. Wait, what did he fucking say? I don't just partake of my stock until you're properly well, but if you're passing in the stairs, then I've got a regular who's eager to see you. Is it Granson? No, there's no way. He's a side character. I'd best be getting back. Just because the world's coming apart at the seams doesn't mean we have to follow suit now, does it? Here, here. We can't forget the heart upon which the city was founded. Or the Exarch might not have much of a home to return to. Stop, it's fine. What, my wig? I can't stop playing with it. I can't believe my makeup stained it so much. Iconic of me. Oh? Hello, Catless. Callus looks at you with a concerned eye. Pepper, are you alright? 
I think a return to your sickbed might be in order. <sighs> or you might consider resting a while atop the watchtower next to the rookery. This damnable sky doesn't make for the most soothing scenery, but the Axark often liked to stand there and feel the wind upon his face. Alright, take a moment to feel the wind upon your face. Alright, will do. Alright, Pepper's gonna have a moment of relaxation, a moment of bliss. She's gonna stand and she's probably gonna remember the Axark and she's probably gonna get emotional that I'm gonna get interrupted by like fucking Thankard or Ishtola or somebody ruining my moment. In his garden? Okay. Oh, I go up here. I think that's where I go. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That wasn't too hard to find. Been up and up and up and up. My little white shoes look so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Pepper's showing free feet. Free toes. Girl. You know people would pay for that, right? Yeah, show them off for free. Can I make it? I did. Oh. Who is this? Just another, another, another player doing the same thing I am. <sighs> well, I guess we'll feel the wind together. Like, this is so breathtaking, but it's so sad, you know? The people of this city have spirit, I'll give them that. They've not lost the will to fight. Hi, Aardvark. I can imagine how torn you must feel, looking yeah. at that sky. Knowing what it means to everyone. And that you're responsible. Yeah. That's how you felt, huh? Secrecy is worse. I'd rather people knew. I still can't believe it's coming from me. It's all such a mess. Um... Dentist! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs! I appreciate it! Um... I don't know what to say here. I feel like it's all such a mess is what Pepper would say. I, an all too familiar one. Here you stand alone, expecting no one else to bear the burden for you. But you'll bear it for me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I mean, Grahatia was going to. We just got interrupted. He was going to share it with me. <laughs> You're in a corner, and there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. That doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. Yeah. I remember looking up at the sky like this before. Being caught up in a strange kind of calm. It was after we realized we were responsible for the flood. When we resolved to journey to the source by taking our own lives. So much courage. One last sacrifice. One last fight. One last failure. And then the oracle appeared and... Well. You know the rest. There were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. Ooh. That we'd made one last mistake. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any doubts I still had. Always. 
Always we took the burden of fighting upon ourselves. That's what heroes do, isn't it? So we never had the chance to see anything like that. Our people coming together as one. To think that their hope still burns so bright. That they were still so eager to live, they would lift up their fellows, one on top of the other, till they reached the sky. No. We made the right decision. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. I just want to give him head pads. I just want to, like, rough up his, like, hair a bit, you know? Are we propping? Are you giving me- I'm, am I giving you props? Well... Come on, then. Am I- Are- Are we fist bumping? Oh. <gasps> As I thought. What happened between us was no coincidence. My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role in yours. I suspected as much the moment I realized you could hear me. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. Get to the point! Get to the point! I was point. afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. But no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. Sir. For what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. So, let us be about it, hero. <laughs> Why do they gotta do the fucking, like, staring into the camera shit? <laughs> oh, I was worried you were up here all alone, brooding and fretting and wallowing in your woes. But look at you. Grinning at nothing like a poor You're ruining pixie. my moment! <laughs> You're ruining my moment, you little shit. Mm. Look at what you've done to your ether. It's a mess. And you have cracks running all through that pretty I soul know. of yours. I know. Can you please fix me? <laughs> my poor little sapling. Whatever am I to do with you? Oh. What am I thinking? Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. Cut ties with the mortal world. Look. Hide away in the castle. Normally, I would say yes. Pepper, however, will say it won't no. won't <laughs> fix the problem. But would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Eel Meg will rise up in your defense. My crown and scepter are yours, if you want them. What? Don't give me that look. <laughs> of course I knew before I asked that you'd never ever heed such a wicked suggestion. <laughs> and besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? Come give me a kiss. What's going on here? Oh, my dear beloved sapling. You are lost, confused, and have precious little time to gather your wits. Your kind is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead, and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour. But such trickery is easy to see through. Stand very, very still. Think not of where you need to go, 
But where you are right now at this moment, at this time, in this place, some therapy. Our cairn of crystal. From shadowed hood he watched you go. His ruby eyes with warmth aglow. She got bars! Sorry, they got bars! See yourself as he saw you, and that shall be the clearest clue. Okay, I don't like riddles though. Oh. Fist. Pepper Angie. You stand in his garden, dear sapling. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. Okay. I will go what will you do flowers. with it, I wonder? I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. scene I I I cried okay okay I cried I know I fucking know don't rub it in we're not gonna talk about it Juan, thank you for the 11 month recip I appreciate it thank you thank you when don't you cry all right Jen eat my butt eat my butt how are you bean uh, gather information on the crystal exarch. Am I actually gonna go talk to his fucking flowers? Oh my god. Pepper, you are- y You know what? I've seen Alice in Wonderland. We ball. We vibe. Let's go talk to some fucking flowers. Where the hell do I go to find these goddamn flowers? Hello? Do I in here? Oh no. Um... Oh! Oh, that's not a flower. <laughs> okay. Oh ho, I did not expect to see you on your feet so soon. Surely you have not come in search of it tomorrow. What do I know of the Crystal Exarch? I'm happy to share, but I fear there will be no surprising revelations. As any in the city could tell you, he is a man of wisdom and compassion and many untold secrets. But none can doubt his generosity. When the Crystarium was being constructed, he even allowed folk to plunder the tower for resources. He has imposed no restrictions upon us but one. No one except the Exarch is permitted to dwell within the Spire. Many seasons passed. Mm. A comrade of mine... Mm. Mm. ...was bold enough to ask the reason why. The Exarch merely smiled and said, because one day the Crystal Tower may vanish as suddenly as it arrived. Oh, wait, I'm scared. Oh, you better not be foreshadowing anything. Oh, what's gonna happen to it? Where's it gonna go? Are we gonna lose it? Oh my God. Is that how, is that how we're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna save? The place? Is that is that the is that the vibe? Oh fuck my ass. Oh no. Is like is whatever power that's in the tower gonna be what saves the day? Is it gonna be sad? Is is Mr. Tia gonna be lost forever? Oh my lord, I don't know, I don't know. Pepper, it is good to see you awake and alert, my friend. That's gonna pop us a burger shop and a burger walk a poo. What's this about? You're not writing the Exarch's memoirs, are you? I'm not sure how much I can tell you, considering we avoid asking too many questions. Unspoken rule and all that. Hmm. If anyone has fresh insights to share, then it'd be Captain Lena, <gasps> I'd say. She lost her parents to an eater attack not long after she was born, and the Exarch sought to her upbringing. Outward appearances aside, those two are like grandfather and granddaughter. 
granddaddy. I imagine the news of his predicament hit her doubly hard. Not that our proud captain would ever let it show. If you do decide to talk to Lena, she'll be at her usual post at the... Is it pronounced the sensor? The sensor gate? Let's go find Lena. I miss her. I miss my bunny wife. <laughs> the power of the tower? The, I, I don't know. Like, whatever is stored in the tower, you know? Like, you know what I mean. Oh, fuck. I almost jumped off. Right, let's go find Lena. Presuming... Oh, we're not, that's not even who I'm speaking to. It's Moran again. Oh, was there something else you needed? If you come for the results of my research into this persistent light, I'm afraid there is little to tell as of yet. Records pertaining to the Exarch? Well, I need no documentation to relay what little I know of his history, if this is what, if that's what interests you. <clears throat> Less than a decade had passed since the coming of the Flood. When the Crystal- wait. Since the coming of the Flood, when the Crystal Tower first flashed into existence, its, summer, its summoner, the Exarch himself, became known to the refugees in Lakeland soon thereafter. He welcomed all who sought out the spire, be they locals who had lost their homes or Vobradites fleeing the ruined kingdom, and together did they found the city which would become the Crystarium. Some thought to call him king, for he refused to share his name, but the summoner did not deem himself worthy of royal address. Thus did the people consider his scintillating skin so like to the tower he had summoned, and bestowed upon him the tower, the title of Crystal Exarch. As for his true name, well, it seems that it's a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Nah, ah, I know who he is, cause I'm his bestie. Okay, speak to Lena. Now oh, she's over there. Wonder, can I TP close to that? Like the gates, maybe? Yeah, that works. Hi, Obsidian. How are you? I wish a lady would tower of power me. Would tower of power you? You know, I'm sure one day you'll get your wish, Ray. I'm sure it'll be granted one day. But it's not this day. Alright? Okay. Oh yeah, she's at her post, right? Yeah, okay. Man, is this gonna be another tearjerker scene? Oh. I'm scared, chat. It's over there. I hope you are well and enjoying the story. I'm okay. I'm I'm definitely enjoying the story. I already cried, so. <laughs> Pepper, I was not told you had awoken. Uh -huh. Welcome surprise. Now, if only the Exarch was returned to us. He was taken by this rival of yours, was he not? Your companions mentioned they had an idea of where to find him, and so I bristled when they asked for patience. I did not understand their hesitation until I saw that you had fallen. Only then did I realize that I had no business rushing ahead. Even so, the delay has been no less agonizing. In the moments before he left to join you in Pelusia, the Exarch entrusted me with a key. It opens a door in the ocular to a chamber known as the Umbilicus. This room is the heart of the tower, into which only the Exarch himself is permitted to enter. Oh my god, and you're are you giving me the key? Are you He bid me allow none into the tower once he had departed. Only the event that an army of eaters descended upon the city was I to access the umb Umbilicus and awaken the defensive barrier. Oh, the Umbilical Cord. Never before had he let me had he left me with such instructions, but the battle with Vothri loomed near, and at the time I accepted the key without much thought. Since then, however, that moment is all that occupies my mind. When I recall the look upon his face, he knew that some terrible fate awaited him. Tell me, Pepper, I need to know what he feared. What battle you and your companions are truly fighting. Oh, is it gonna give me a dialogue option? Am I gonna tell her? Yeah. That's what I thought. Forgive me. I trust in the Exarch, and I should not be voicing these doubts when he is not here to respond to them personally. But you have come to me with a question of your own, have you not? Ah, 
I see I am not the only one who burns for answers. The time has come to open the tower's heart. Though we do not face an invasion of eaters, I suspect the city will be in far more danger if you do not gain the knowledge you seek. Now I'm really going into his garden. Now I'm- oh, I'm so- I'm so nervous. Is this like- is he- like- is this also like his dwelling quarters? Lena urges you to follow her. Oh, I see him! He's in the thingy! He's in the thumbnail! But is it gonna be like a flashback or something? Come, meet me in the ocular and I will unlock the door within. Oh my god. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, hell no. Why? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm right. Yoink. Oh my god. I, I have my tissues ready for the emotional warfare that is about to commence. I got my box. Everything is themed. Everything is pink and purple over here. Oh, fuck my bussy. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to the gate. If it gives me an emotional flashback of her meeting with him or something like that, like when, like, uh, oh, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. She said, like, the defensive barriers are there? Let's see. Mistress Pepper, the captain said to expect you. Enter the ocular? Yes. Oh, cutscene time. Please be voiced. Please. Okay, it's gonna be. I have unlocked the door to the umbilicus. You are free to enter. Once you have what you require, I'll see it sealed once more. Until then, I will remain without. Here we go. So many books. Just in a box? And an orb? Or a, a seeing orb? Oh fuck shit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! It's Uriange. A moment to collect my thoughts, I prithee. Thy true name is Grahartia, then. By thy claims, thou too art a native of the source, though from an age beyond our own, when the Eighth Umbral Calamity hath visited devastation upon our star. Thou hast, by subtle means, reached across the boundaries of time and space to unsow the seeds of catastrophe, ere its creeping vines drag our champion unto an early grave. In essence, yes. A difficult story to swallow, I am sure. I doubt not the veracity of thy words, not the account of thy coming, nor that of the fated calamity. Yet my mind straineth still to apprehend the enormity of this tale. Wouldst thou favor me with a gradual unfolding of its chapters? Yes, please. Let's get the lore. Certainly. I do love that it's still to begin? Crystal Exarch and not like his name. I should start with those great minds who survived the calamity. Sid Garland being perhaps the greatest. In yeah, hopes of staying the unending tides of war, he and his fellows pursued all manner of possible solutions. One of these was rooted in a theory which unified several fundamental principles discovered over the course of the Warrior of Light's adventures. It proposed a method by which one could enter the river of time, traverse the rift, and leap between worlds. Perfecting that idea, however, was a work which consumed their lifetimes, and thus was it left to future generations to decide whether theory would be put into practice.
But all the while, the world continued to burn. Hope was a feeble outpost, beset on all sides by thievery and misery and murder. Oh God, People cried out in despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Then others raised their voices in answer. Though we be beyond salvation, those who came before may yet be saved. We will forge a crossroads and pave the way for a different future. By the wisdom of our forebears, we will prevent this calamity from ever having come to pass. Thank you for the flashbang, I appreciate it. The fighting went on unabated, but some few took up Sid's research and labored to realize those impossible ideas. After two centuries of labor, their descendants finally succeeded in awakening the Crystal Tower, an integral part of the process, and in doing so, roused its caretaker, me. By this stage, scholars had largely established the phenomena underpinning the rejoining and identified the first as the shard which precipitated the eighth umbral calamity. Mm. This grand structure was already capable of storing the energies required to attempt the translocation. All that remained was to augment some few of its functions based upon the theoretical models of Sid and his compeers. And by means of such technologies didst thou affect thine arrival in the first to an age before this star had joined with the source. Some while before, as it turned out, it is all but impossible to predict how time will flow between one world and the next, and we missed our mark by almost an entire century. But this only worked in our favor. The Sin Eaters could not be defeated without the blessing of light, and summoning the only woman who might stand a chance against them would require decades of preparation. An undertaking of scarce credible endurance. That thou hast kept thy plan from falling into disarray these many years bordereth on the miraculous. Yet howsoever history be rewritten, thy present self was shaped by events which followed the calamity. Should said catastrophe be averted, the very skein of thine existence will unravel. Surely thou hast foreseen this. I am aware of the consequences. Tis for that very reason Sid and his colleagues bequeathed their legacy as an offering, and not an edict. To give all of oneself for the happiness of others, and with no promise of reward? Tis a hard thing to ask. Harder still for those condemned to survive in a world which pitted brother against brother. Indeed, you are right to call the execution of this plan miraculous, though the force which held it together was nothing so inexplicable. Not the music. It was her. The warrior of light has been our unbroken thread. Where others would stumble and fall, she would rise above. Where others would break and run, she would carry on. My ego. The warrior of light's tale is one of unyielding bravery. To tell it was to feel courage. To hear it was to feel hope. It was a breath of inspiration in an age of suffocating shadow. In the histories of a fallen nation was our hero hailed as its greatest ally. In the time-worn pages of a noble's memoirs were her deeds joyously retold. For many, these stories were the flame which warmed them through the coldest of nights.
And so it should come as little surprise that the plan found no shortage of volunteers, concerning as it did the Warrior of Light herself. It was their chance to add their own verse to the hero's saga. She was the lodestar that brought them all together to send their final message back through time and space to her. I wanted a, a juicy lore dump, not a sim. The light of your legacy was our torch in the darkness. Burn bright again and live. I am merely the bearer of that wish. Come to ensure it is safely delivered. Wherefore sharest thou this burden with me and no other? What wouldst thou have me say? That you will be my accomplice? Twas you yourself who convinced me of your suitability when you spoke of how you learned of the Flood and of your part in arranging Minfilia's journey to the First. Your actions oh, showed yeah. uncommon resolve. It was clear you were committed to the cause of saving this world. Oh yeah, I forgot that whole like. I knew I could trust point. you to choose the right path forward, even if that choice came with a heavy price. What price? When all is said and done, and the last of the Light Wardens lies slain, I will absorb their corrupted ether, and then I will die. Or get shot in the head. <laughs> Knowing what I know of your companions, not to mention your Didn't champion, think that one through, huh? they will try to stop me. But in saving one, they would save none. Therefore, I implore you to aid me in concealing my identity and ensuring this tale ends as it must. To this end, I would have you take what I have told you of the Calamity and make of it a portent, a prophetic vision you beheld in the swirling chaos of the Rift. Is this truly thy wish? I'm dead. I have passed away. History remembered the Warrior of Light, as I knew it would. And I will suffer no other to rescue the champion whose star has charted my course. Don't look at me. I will see this tale to a happy end, my friend. There has been enough tragedy. Looking at me through the computer screen. <laughs> oh. Careful now. God. If you lose control again, the light could claim you for good. Although it's probably only a matter of time before you succumb to the change in any case. Oh, so like I can't get angry and stuff? What do you mean to do? Oh, I have to literally remain calm. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Um, I mean to hunt down Emmett Selk. I mean to rescue the Exarch. I mean to have a few words with both Emmett and the Exarch. Oh, I don't know what to say. Pepper just wants to go hit me, 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 me right now. Um. Um. I mean, I guess the last one. I want to rescue the Exarch. But I'm pissed. So do I go the more aggressive route and say I want to hunt down Emmett? Ugh. First, let me update to 24 real quick. <laughs> let me just... Let me just, uh, let me just pop that right there real quick. Um. I mean to have a few words with them both. Ah! 
<laughs> then we should be on our way. Deacian mentioned the Tempest, did he not? That's, oh, that's the stormy seas to... around Calusia to you. Oh yeah, right. His lair must be down there somewhere. Hidden beneath the waves. Right. Okay. Great, I'm going underwater. My favorite. My fave! Oh. <laughs> Take us on the rain. <laughs> Time for a swimsuit glam. <laughs> Did you find the answers you sought? If there's nothing more you need, I will go and lock the door. Um, I have questions about the Tempest. Tempest, that is a name given to the seas by which Calusia is bound. If you make a request to the Tamers, they'll provide you with an Amaro to fly you over the waters, but... Do you mean to leave right this moment? Alone? I am not sure that... Nay, I will not seek to stop you. Go with the blessings of the shadow and I shall await your safe return. Ah, oh, man. So it wasn't Uriange's big prophecy. It was just... It was... Gra what, is it pronounced Graha or is it... It's Graha. It's not Graha. Graha. Like, Graha. Okay. But it was him. He's the one who... He is the one who planned it all out. Oh, man. I'm not... I'm not crying anymore. But my eyelash has come off. <laughs> oh, man. Let me just... Let me just fix that real quick. Obsidian, thank you for gifting five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Oh. I just wanted the lore, not the trauma. We're off to a great start, yeah, clearly. Anyone else getting emotional or is it just me? you cutting all the onions <laughs> oh it's just we're just standing in the rain yeah yeah it it kills me when the game makes the characters like look at you like breaking the fourth wall and then Sometimes they're speaking to you or they're speaking to somebody else, but they use phrases to make it sound like they're talking, like, to you. Emmett did it. Um, Grahatia did it. I think Minfilia did it. Like, that, it's such great direction. I love that. I love it so much. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I wanted lore and they gave me trauma and a simp. <laughs> I love my little simp! Oh. No, I haven't finished the Hildebrand stuff. I did start it though. And then with Graha being so sweet and kind and smiling, look at you in the camera, it kills me. He's just a. Like, I wanna call him a puppy, even though, like, he's not a puppy. But, you know. Thunder storms? I'm gonna bow to you because we're both at the same point in the game. <laughs> oh. I know, it's a story for me and not my character. <laughs> the open water to the depths of the tempest? Armaro can swim, yes, but to reach the ocean floor. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, Pepper! 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 Oh, 
Oh, girl. Ah, oh, we have found thee. Oh. Oh, the whole squad's rolling up. Word reached us of Not thy recovery, and thus did we gather with all haste. Not the music. <laughs> ah. By thy looks I gather thou hast gleaned that which I came to tell thee. Orianger has shared everything with us. The Exarch's true identity and purpose. I offer no excuses. If I see when this I agreed man to aid cry? the Exarch with his plans, twas in full acceptance of the condemnation Even I would face crack? when my duplicity was laid bare. Yet it is not rancor, but resolve that I sense in thee. Thou art fully intent upon walking thy path to its end, art thou not? If thou canst forgive my deception, or Failing that, set aside thy displeasure for a time. I do beg leave to follow thee. What strength and wisdom I possess are thine to command. <laughs> I forgive you. Let's go. I'm a danger to those around me. No, I forgive you. Let's go. I thank thee. Doubt not, but that I will do all in my power to repay thy kindness, and fulfill the Exarch's wishes. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good idea. Ruining my moment! Leaving the Crystarium, I mean, with or without Uriante. What I did for you won't last forever. There's no telling when the light will break free again. Please, you must stay here. At least for a little while longer, we will find a way to cure this, I promise you. Sorry, girl. I'm, I'm having my, my main character How can character you make moment. promises? Oh. We don't even know where to start. That's my girl. Alizé, please. You know Reen was only trying to help. That's my girl. Of course I know! I know only too well! But making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. It's a lie. Plain and simple. We've all searched high and low for an answer, and every one of us came back empty-handed. I am not about to stand in her way now. Not after failing her in her hour of need. No. The least we can do is... Oh, my baby! We will go with you as well. There is naught to be gained by standing still. Indeed, we have exhausted every other avenue. Lead and we shall follow. If there is any hope to be found, then we will surely find it at your side. Are we all in agreement then? Is there aught we can do to help? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I mean, what are y'all gonna do? Though we may not know the whole story, we do know you're in for a fight. And while the Exarch's away, it falls to the rest of us to see the Warrior of Darkness is given a proper send-off. You told them? No. Well, not in so many words. Aye, we didn't need it spelled out for us. When the night sky appeared over whichever place you went to, it was harder not to put two and two together. From the moment I heard that you and the Exarch shared the homeland, <laughs> I had my suspicions. Guess they're not that stupid after Long had he been waiting for a certain someone to arrive. 
and I knew at once that it must be Which you. is fair. Like, how do people not put two and two together? Exactly. You know what I mean? When he went out to meet you, to was clear it was no ordinary visitor. That spring in his step spoke volumes. I could feel his excitement. Me too. That's right. Here I go. We do not fully understand where you or the Exarch hail from, or why you've all done so much to protect us. But we are deeply grateful nonetheless. So, if there is anything at all we might do to aid your journey, you need only name it. What would you have of us? Don't give me a dialogue option. You might have invited them to join us, where there are not so many. But come, they are waiting. What is your will, O oh warrior of darkness? Uh. Defend the Crystarium until we return. Leave it to us. We'll see the Exarch home safe and sound. Uh, to find, yeah, just to... to yeah. NPC being intelligent on her own. <laughs> I didn't really connect with Alize until this expansion though, then she became my favorite. Oh man, Alize. I connected with Alize back in, what was it, Stormblood? She, that's when I like, I adopted her. I was like, that's my baby. I love her. Oh, my baby. Seeing her have those emotions for me and like the bit where like, she reaches out for me, remember? Like, when it was just us? Oh my god, I just... She's my baby! I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to her. Just so you know, I will not look kindly on any further attempts to leave us behind. We do this together. Yeah, I got you to worry we're doing it together, babes! No, I haven't done coils yet. I know it gives like insight into her like travels before she joins us, but I, I've yet to do them. As always, 10 out of 10 voice acting. Thank you, thank you. No, the cry counter is for my entire playthrough. Thou didst plan to ugh. thou didst plan to commandeer Namaro for thy journey to the open sea. I fear the following dive down onto Emmet Salk's underwater abode would drain even thy legendary stamina. Thus, during the thy convalescence, convalescence, convalesce. I don't know. We consider the most efficient, eff, the most efficient. Fuck this guy. The most efficient method for reaching the depths of the tempest, and I believe we've arrived at an elegant solution. Who the fuck says an elegant solution? Speak clearly, my man. Yet ere we discuss this step, I suggest thou dost conclude such pressing business as remains to thee in the Crystarium. Once the sea closeth, closeth above our heads, we are unlikely to surface again until our grand deed is done. Sort of God, if this man makes me say thither, I will be angry to storm toss seas. Aardvark? Orianje is patiently awaiting what- am I getting oysters? <laughs> Uh, it's patiently awaiting word that you are ready to depart. Thine off affairs are in order, then I shall unfold to thee my proposal. Our destination is the ocean floor, yet our goal is not simply to arrive there. Nay, we must needs have the means to breathe and fight freely. Thus would I petition the aid of one of the Fae, a being with whom I have yet to meet face to face. Rather than waste words on explanation, I bid thee follow me unto the hamlet of Sullen, which lieth to the south and west. All will become abundantly clear, I promise thee. All right. Hey, Warchamp! All right, where am I going? Here? Okay. Just gonna go to foot job. Convalescence? Too bad, it's it's whatever the fuck else I said. Green <laughs> Shay's like several cutscenes will play fun of barking on this shit. I think that what Urian J is like in other languages. He's super formal, but not like old timey English kind of formal. Well, you know, 
So if I played this game in another language, would the caption stay the same? Because that is the same shit for me. Oh, hey Jin. Okay, where am I going? I'm going my way. Kinda. I'll just go around up here. I think actually that's longer. Never mind. I'm just gonna go straight down. <laughs> So you have different audio and subtitles, so yes. Oh, it's like, fuck. Here we're gonna say Thither would send us a titter? Get out. Just so you know, I'm patiently waiting for Texas speech return so I can have it say Thither. You're a bastard. <laughs> Texas speech won't be back until MSQ is over, unfortunately. English is always the same regardless of voice language. Oh, so that I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I do want to replay this game with the Japanese VOAs. Maybe I'll do that when I'm done Endwalker. Would y'all want me to restream this game? Which unfortunately means going through a Realm Reborn again. <laughs> I really want to do the new game plus as well. Maybe I'll just do that. German and Madeline is gold, really? You could just right click follow Jin so you can go hands free, but I don't want to. That ruins my immersion! I bet the English VO had to have fun with Urian Jay. Where else do you get to do dialogue like that? I know, right? Unless you're like in a Shakespearean play, like yeah, he must have had a ton of fun, but also probably sounded like me every so often. Going like, do I need to say that word? Like, are you sure? Can I not just say this one? Got a fucking thesaurus in the other hand. <laughs> I can't stand Japanese Alize and Tataru. Oh, are they bad? Look, they can't be any worse. I, I refuse to believe anything is worse than a Realm Reborn Alfino. Know. Alright? <laughs> Man, the voice acting in a Realm Reborn. Every time there was a scene that was voice acted, I almost wish that it wasn't. You know, like, even though I hated it. Like, I hated talking. Cute. Big guy. Boom, 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 boom. Who's Yu Yu Hasi? I don't remember who that is. Someone got Uriyajane's VA to do an Uriyajane style. Oh, I've seen that! I've seen that! Japanese Orchipa was on a different level of spicy. Don't even get me started. That man is down bad. He is down horrendous. And I'm into it. All right. I just noticed y'all can't see my mic. You can't see my boy. You can't see my little, my little Orshi. There, to the west. Canst thou discern? The hump of an isle rising above the water. The hump of an isle rising, hmm? Is it that? The one that's erect? The foliage covered mass hideth, hideth the key to our safe descent. Swim close and plunge thee beneath the surface. Thou shalt soon divine the reason of mine insistence. Though it be much to my shame, I can but flail and flounder where thou mayest glide as a fish. I shall board a boat to the island and spare one and all the spectacle of mine inept strokes. Nah, show me your deep stroke, baby. All right. Oh, fuck! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just take off your shirt, sir? Are you coming for a swim with me? What's up? Oh, God. I- Oh, I did not mean to actually go underwater here. I meant to go underwater later. Oh, my God! I can swim beneath you! I can see you swimming above me! Amazing. <laughs> It would take so much time and work, but if they remastered a Realm Reborn like Final Fantasy VII... Wait, oh, the remake? Honestly? Why haven't they? Is it like budgeting? I'm wondering why they didn't redo the VOAs. I guess maybe to spare the original VOAs some dignity. I know, Merlewib's uh, voice acting change was not, is, was not a good choice. 
I mean, it's still good, but in comparison? No technology for NPCs hugging, but we can see people swimming above us. <laughs> I expect no less. I can't even kiss somebody. Rover had some tweaks. Most to move question from MSQ. Yeah, that I know. Alright. Let's see. Do I have to go over here? <laughs> Think about how long a realm board is. That's a lot of VO to do to redo. I know. I know. I'm still gonna complain. I'm going forward than fixing a realm reborn. Aren't they doing more? Voice acting? Like, I was told that a like, in, um... I almost said an Emmett Self. What's it called? An Emmett Walker? I don't fucking know. An N Walker? <laughs> an N Walker, isn't it, like, mostly voice acting? I love your hot bar setup, by the way, with the job gauge in the center. Thank you. Two curved slabs of rock seem squeezed together here, giving the impression of a giant stone... A giant stone eyelid. Or of giant stone eyelids. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Is it a turtle? Is this a big turtle? Is that teeth? Oh my god. Oh! Pepper! Pepper. Pepusi. The Pepusi! I can see the Pepusi! Pepper, stop it! Put that away! There are people watching! No! <laughs> Not the pepussy! Though it appears solid enough, the rock yields slightly under your touch. Was the surface gently shifting, or was it just your imagination? It's a turtle! Or a whale! The Mintosi out for free. I know! Oh my god. Chat, don't look at her pepussy. Please don't look at her pussy. Am I? Did I make it? I did. Oh. I'm- I'm- I'm on it? No, where am I going? Speak with Orion Jet. These motherfuckers want me to go all the way back now? Oh no, he took a boat. Oh, can I land? Can I get on the shore somewhere over here? Mayhap? Mayhap I cometh on thy landeth? <gasps> Can I go up there? No, I cannot. You baited me. Aha! Alfino! Hi, puppy! Ah, there you are. Once you completed your underwater investigations, path here leads to the top of the island. Alright, let's go. <gasps> Dentist, thank you for the 10 gifties! We literally posted a pet pussy thirst trap in the Discord. Yeah, but that was. That was, uh, consensual. To everything I gotta give to the sub, welcome to the coven, hope you're bad your mods, and your stay here. Jesus! Well, what hast thou discerned? I've discerned that it's an ordinary island. Reminds me of a certain primal. It's just like the big one. I don't remember what the big one is. Is that from Stormblood? Most perceptive. According to the lore of the Pixies, we are, even now, perched upon the back of an ancient fey entity. Its name is Bismarck. Aye, the self-same title by which we know the great feathered whale revered by the Vanu Van of the source. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Amazing. The parallels! The parallels! I would enlist its aid to bear us unto the deep and thence banish the water with an airy sphere, alike in form of the domes which do shelter the hamlets neath the ruby sea. Within its compass, we may move and encumbered, unencumbered and defend ourselves with, when the hour of battle cometh, as it most surely shall. Sorry, my ears are like hurting. Now, I must needs ask for silence whilst I make my supplication. We're chilling. We ball, as the young kids say.
Oh, the purple. I love the shade of green and all of this purple. Oh my god, the vibes. So beautiful. Alright, do your thing. Weirsach. Bilan Bismail. Cave of Wonders, god damn! Fallen si lor wislan, ada si alinal. Van urs atschlir, unfoth him, iri kuat. Bro, me too. I'm just trying to nap. I'm also just a silly, sleepy little guy. Oh dear. I don't need to speak Fey to know that didn't go well. Can we summon Fey? Yeah. Can we summon Fey, uh, Fey Wolf? Oh god! <laughs> Hi bestie! Oh, my snee yak! You've learned to call me at last! <laughs> and where do you go? On a trip? A journey? I knew you wouldn't give up without a fight! Oh my precious mortal, I shall help you in any way I can! If anything happens to them. Chat? I'm blaming you. I'm blaming all of you. Gers Bismail win picked. Van Dromi Drom Yakum. Van Rea. Y'all just want to watch me suffer, so it's your fault from here on out. Ah, Ulla, Shahwin Wisk. Hell yeah, that was Be easy. sure to scrub this one's teeth for him upon your return. He's only good manners. Are you fucking serious? It will be done, your majesty. Our deepest thanks for Leave your timely to intervention. Leave it to be the one who agrees to cleaning the teeth. An agreement oh, is reached whale. and your departure is at hand. You wingless ones best hold on tight. May the blessings of the Fae keep you safe, Inba. Oh, God. No, Fae, no, Ruiz. Van in the Narsitar. Dear the Sita. You know, cleaning teeth is going to be a warrior of legend. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> People sign up for shit and then put it on my lap. That's how it works. I never sign up for anything. <laughs> Did you see the size of me versus that whale? I am not cleaning those teeth. Hmm. Or... <gasps> oh, you're flying! Girl. All right, fade to black, credits roll, end game. We did it. We beat Shadowbringers. I lied. And just like that, it's all gone back to the way it was. What was you expecting? Hundred years of honey and rainbows? Yes, actually. Seeing them Yulmore types wake up and smell the ashes was miracle enough for me. <laughs> Ah, but the magic in the air when that ladder started moving. <laughs> and when that great hulking Talos rose up. Gods. At least you got good memories, right? Yeah. 
I could right. live a thousand years and never behold anything so amazing. Yeah, turn around, bro. You about to see a flying whale. What the? Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We gone. What a monster! Where did it even come from? Oh, 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 Run! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> God, I hope they're okay. <laughs> I hope they're okay. I hope they know how to swim. No, Valana, Anna. Tilden, Sito. Bye bye. I like that he calls us his little neighbors. I'm gonna start calling Waldo that. Oh shit. Okay, and is it like one of those bubble things? Wow. Did you see? That's what Rianje was explaining, right? The breath of Bismarck. See how it swells to form a dome beneath the waves? The waters recede, the tempest's floor is laid bare. Terrifying. In defiance of the terrifying. blinding sky, this place holds fast to its gloom. I'm scared of underwater things. The last refuge of he who denies the light with every fiber of his being. This cuck. You stand at the precipice, hero. That was, the shot, the that was a good shot, though. That was a really good shot. Or shot. I can't lie. <gasps> Dennis, thank you for gifting Davy a sub. I <laughs> also thank you for gifting Davy a simp. They've already got one. It's Gratia. <sighs> so glad am I that Bismarck was true to his word. We are arrived in the Tempest, safe and dry. It is here that we shall find the lair of Emmet Selk, and I believe the imprisoned exarch as well. For an Asian alone, it is of course a trifling matter to flee unto the rift. Yet I suspect such travel is nigh impossible with a mortal in one's custody. Mm. Nay, he would not soon risk his prize when the exarch's very body serveth as the key to the Crystal Tower and its powers of temporal, temporal transportation. Thus am I all but certain that this underwater realm harboreth our friend and enemy both. We have but to find them. All right, are we finally on quest 80? In the event that you leave the area, speak with Inul at Venmont Yards and Calusia to return to the Tempest. All right. All right, what's up, Thancrit? Nope, still level 79. Thancrit casts his gaze across the waterless expanse before you. Now, as for where we should be looking, I either doubt Emmett Salk will be sitting around out in the open. I propose to follow the slope down towards the deeper trenches, and keep an eye out for rock formations large enough to house a stronghold. Alright, let's be off then. Watch your footing. The ground is still wet and like to be slippery. Lack my pussy! What? Alright. Look at this. Look at that. <gasps> oh, look at this character design! Or this enemy design. It'd be a shame if I killed it. It's so cool. All right. So 
where am I going? Oh, I got so much to discover here. Holy fuck. There's only one etherite, though. The Ondo Cups. All right, well, we're going in that direction. Did my map change? Like, is this... Oh, no, it's still just under Nor Norbrant. I am a gifted sim. <laughs> to be fair, I am a cowboy named I'm Simpin. Gifted sims are being cared for me. This is true. You are just doing what you were born to do. <laughs> Look, listen. There's nothing wrong with a bit of murder. Okay? As long as it's in game. This music is really pretty. I feel like I should be... I feel like it should be summer and I'm on a patio and like, like on the Danforth. I don't know if it, Toronto people, you're familiar with that, you know? Having a little glass of wine. Hanging out on Sugar Beach. Nah, not Sugar Beach. No, no, no. The, um, more west, but still on the lake shore, actually. Oh, Ondo Youth. These more turtles? Oh my god, is it the Ninja Turtles? Oh. No. Look at that ass! Wait, can y'all see the ass? That's a whole ass fucking pussy! That looks like a vagina. That looks like a vagina that's on its period. What if it's a cloaca? A cloaca? What's a cloaca? Like a sea pussy? It's the the fussy, the lizard of sea. Jake Sully, where you at? Love me some fussy. Cloca is what chickens have. Why would y'all know this? Why do y'all know about chicken pussy? They poop from it and lay eggs from the same hole? Why do you know this? Trivia Ninja, this sounds like something you would know. Does that mean they have fitties? They do got fitties! Dude, look at that clit! <gasps> no, come back! I wanna see your fussy! Whoa. Whoa! Oh, mm -mm. oh etherite. Oh, are y'all waiting for me here? <laughs> Luna, I think I saw you add me. Yeah. Sick. All right. Where did I attune? I did. Okay. Where is the person? There they are. see what they've got to say. The finless ones! They followed me! Why have you come? Was it you who took away our water? Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean for it to go that way. Ah, so this is where the Ondo make their home. I had wondered. Pray forgive us any inconvenience we have caused. We were not aware of your aware your people lived here in the Tempest. We need this great dome of air that we might come we need this great dome of air that we might conduct a most urgent search, and thus beg you for your understanding. Chieftain, what are we to do? Please don't put up a fight. Come on. Oh. Pepper's not having it. Are you emissaries of the Ancient Ones? What do you mean by that? 
The mysteries have stirred. We have seen the illuminated land shining through the gloom of the abyss. Illuminated land? Oh! Norbrant. If you are the emissaries, the chosen, I bid you welcome. If you are not, I bid you leave. All right, y'all, time to lie. I am not sure I understand. Would you be willing to elaborate? Bro, just say we are. Just say we are. It would seem not. I suggest we withdraw for the moment. Why can't y'all lie? Also, all of us have white hair now. <laughs> So what's the plan? Given your condition, I'm reluctant to suggest lingering here. That said, our presently meandering search would proceed far more swiftly if we could call upon the Ando's local knowledge. Yes, I'd like to know more about this illuminated land the chieftain spoke of. Could it be Emmett Selk's stronghold, you suppose? Perhaps he lit the lanterns upon his return? We cannot dismiss the possibility, but if these Ando refuse to speak with us... Pepper, do you remember my first scheme for entering Yulmore? How I had planned to ingratiate? Ingra ingratiate? Ingratiate? Yeah. Myself by offering lucrative trading opportunities with the Ondo. The, indi the individual I dealt with was reticent in manner, reticent, and a curious in custom, but we were able to reach an agreement. Oh, I did not read that last word. I believe that with the right approach, we can build a similar relationship here. What kind of approach do you have in mind? The chieftain fell that chieftain fellow didn't leave us many options. If we are to tread the swiftest course, then we must needs locate its beginning. This plain our all too dramatic arrival hath thrown this settlement into confusion. Were we to solve such problems as we have caused, and assure our host thereby Oh my fucking god! Assure our host thereby that our purpose here is not inimical inimical to them? They may yet prove amenable to reason. No! I smell chores. I know! Ugh, but very well, if it can be done quickly. What do you think? I have nothing better to offer, but I do worry that what will happen if the Ondo's tails end up leading us to a dead end. Why can't we just keep exploring? <laughs> I cannot say for certain, but I sense this tribe has a deeper connection to the Asians than first meets the eye. Why? It warrants further investigation. Thus, I cast my vote in favor of aiding the settlement for the time being. Oh my fucking god. I'll do what I can, I suppose. I am dying here. Don't make me too angry. I might turn to a light war and eat you all up. Then it's settled. You stole a prey proceed with your investigations. The rest of us will see about fostering some goodwill. Why can't I go with Stola? Man. I'm literally dying. I am literally dying. And they want me to do shores, shores, chores for the fish pussy people. Pepper, you won't believe who I've just bumped into. This is Posh Owan, the very fellow I did business with prior to our ill-fated stay in Yulmore. I waited, and you did not come. Then the mist still came. But his visits did not continue. I'm truly sorry, Power Things did not proceed as planned. Is there any is there aught we can do for you by way of an apology? Hmm, perhaps. With a dry return, a cavern to the north. Oh my god, it's home to the giant crab. We do not fear the crab, for we are the swifter swimmers. But now there is no water. We run and they scuttle close behind. Snipping and snapping with their claws. There are too many of them. Do you want me to go kill them? What of you, Pepper? If you're not on a task, you're most welcome to join me. Indeed, I should appreciate the company where the dry return as a. I'm going to. Oh my god, it's so far away. I am going to bite every single one of you. Alfino, I'm going to bite you. Alright, I'm gonna go up this way. Uber? Nope, I'm doing it the hard way. I'm suffering. Okay, I can't go up this way. Okay. If Pepper gets too angry, Stola will just bend her over her knee. And give me a good old spink. Bless her. Bless her soul. 
Hey, these are the guys from the from the Scala dungeon. I love them. They're based off of those like real life sea dragons or whatever they're called. Like not the seahorses, but like the the little guys, the little the little funny little dudes. I literally think they're called sea dragons. Might as well put you to good use before the end. Yeah, before I die. Just let me do everyone's fucking chores. Ugh. Alright, do I go through this tiny cavern? I do. I feel like I need a pina colada. And a straw hat. And someone fanning me. Do I just kill him? Okay, I need to kill three. Alright, where's another one? Hey, yo! Come here. Come here. Sorry, excuse me? Are you the warrior of light? This is my duty! This is my job! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, he's gone. No way, no, he's actually leaving. Wait, I lied. <laughs> Alright. And now. Oh, thank God, I could just TP. Oh, God bless. Oh my God, please. Oh my God, please. Oh my God, please. Thank you. <laughs> Blue dragon, yeah, they're a type of sea slug. That's it, they're a little sluggy guy, yeah. That's it, blue dragon. Yeah, they're really fucking cute. And very toxic. Hey, Lucas. You're not literally done. You were literally about to turn into a monster to the world. Completely different. Same shit, different pile. You crack their shells? You must be stronger than you look. I see you've reached your quota first again. I shall never be your equal in such tasks. Still, I would say we reduce the local crab population to a far less threatening number. Yes, we killed three. And so we are now done. Nay, this was to be part of my apology to you, remember? Besides, the lack of water is our doing, for which we must also make amends. Oh, he's trying to give us a reward. Might I convince you to tell us something about your village instead? I would very much like to learn more of you or your pe learn more of you and your people. Very well. Before the flood came, it is said that our ancestral home was found in the seas to the south. It was utterly destroyed by the light. Only those who were out hunting survived. They swam, aimless and lost, until they spied buildings here on this ocean floor. Buildings? Oh. Strange buildings they were, and long had they stood under the water. Yet somehow they have been spared the scars of time and current. These structures provided shelter for my people, protection from the tempest's turbulent waters, and the predators which hunted within them. Their very existence seemed a, mir a miracle. The first settlers pondered their goods, their good fortune. It was clear that the race who had built such wonders had guided their course, and from this did they discern the truth. The Asians, presumably? Right? But the ancients had chosen us to serve as caretakers for their eternal of their eternal sanctuary until such time as they returned. Thus, if it is judged that you're coming, if it is judged that you're coming, and this great vanishing of water was by the ancient design, you will find warm welcome here. A truly astonishing history, yet I cannot help but wonder, how will the significance, or otherwise, of our arrival be decided? The ancients have blessed us with protection and prosperity. If your presence serves to bring us the same, there will be no doubt in the matter. Then it would seem our earlier decision was the correct one. We thank you for the lesson, and we'll continue to do all we can to assist your people. Should you desire our help with any other trouble, pray do not hesitate to ask. We should return to the task at hand. Only, do try not to overexert yourself, my friend. The risk far outweighs the gain. Alright, chat. I am going to take off my headset for a second, because... My, like, entire scalp and my ears are, like, killing me. Ooh. Okay. 
Yeah, when you fought them, you made comments about bad dragon. Wait, when I fought what? Wait, what? West sink? Oh, this ain't- no, uh-uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Mm-mm, no. Oh, you stole that. Okay. Don't worry, I have my headset angled like that, so. It's all good. Ishtola appears deep in thought. Ah, Pepper. Have you learned aught of note? Fascinating, and precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you have a moment, I'd like to pour your eyes to confirm a theory I've been working on. Come. Oh yeah, because she can't see. So she wants my eyes. Oh my fuck. Alright, we're traveling again. Oh my god. Okay. Does the ears plus wig hurt your real ears? They do. Yeah. I am in tremendous discomfort. But. I'm gonna suck it up. Doing it for the bit. Until Pepper decides she wants to dye her hair black again. The Scala Dungeons? Oh. Oh, you mean the, the blue dragons? I was making Oh! I thought you were talking about, like, the ancient ones. I was, like, I was talking about Emmett's cock in relation to Bad Dragon? Like, what? Oh, does she want to look at these glowy things? Now, there are two tasks I would have you perform. The first requires you to inspect the buildings which surround the Ondo settlement and note their most distinctive characteristics. For the second, I wish you'd use this knife to take scrapings from one of the remnant walls. Pray be as thorough as you can. I should be waiting here for the results of your investigation. So you're fucking telling me you want me to run in circles? Okay. Alright. Inspect the structures. Okay. Alright. We are doing some inspecting. I know the things I do for y'all. And y'all are so ungrateful. <laughs> okay. Are my ears on okay? Okay. Alright, what do you want me to look at? The lanterns? And identify their most distinctive feature. Most distinctive feature. Well, I would say it's those lights, but I can't get to them. What's that? Oh, it's so cute! It's the larva for those things I murdered. No shot there's a fucking shoe bill here. <laughs> no shot there's a shoe bill here. Get the fuck out of here. Hold up. Oh, right. This isn't a sniper. I can't kill it. For some reason, it's at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I love that. Hold on. Let me read it in full. Let me see what it said. Let's see. There is a shoe bill here, at the bottom of the ocean, for some reason. <laughs> I fucking love that. Okay, so what? Am, so what am I looking for here? Let's see. Distinctive window. It's that. That's the feature. The tall slender towers feature many elaborate windows, the likes of which you have seen nowhere else. Wow. Okay. And now she wants me to scrape the coral. I'll use the meat bill knife to collect scra scrapings from the remnant wall. Is it this one? On the other side or something? Yeah. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. So you're going to give it a sub. Welcome to the Covenant of your badging modes and your stay. Thank you. You set the point of the knife against the wall, but even after applying considerable pressure, you cannot remove so much as a flake of stone.
good. Sorry. Ah! I knocked my headset. Okay, we're fine. We're chilling. All right, let's go back to Ustola now. <laughs> oh, hi, Art Deco building on the bottom of the ocean in an alternate dimension. Ooh-wee! I mean, like, I'm not even too surprised by all of this. Like, there was that whole, like, aura civilization underwater. You know what I mean? Like, I... I just learned to expect the unexpected at this point. What are we playing? We are playing Final Fantasy XIV. What's up, Asia Green? I just fucking missed what she said. I'm so sorry. Yes, I would agree that the windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the same to both your sight and mine. And you said you could- and you say you could not so much as scratch the wall, even with all your might behind the blade? Pepper, everywhere I turn in this place, my gaze is drawn by peculiar materials for which I do not have a name. The buildings I had you investigate are prime examples. They may appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you it's nothing of the sort. If pressed, I would describe the substance as a com as a composite of several mineral properties, blend to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Norvran, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. But if not the Ronkins, then who? Who were these ancients the Ondo claim as the architects of their sanctuary? I suspect our answer lies within the reason Emmett Selk withdrew here to the Tempest. <laughs> He may simply have wished to retreat somewhere mere mortals would struggle to reach, but there are many such remote locations. Why here, specifically? Emmett Selk is devoted to his role, and thus we might assume his choice of stronghold somehow serves the Asian agenda. Or mayhap, is the place more dear to him than any other? His home? Are you saying this was built by ancient Asians? Could this place provide power to Emmett Silk? Hmm. That was my first thought as well. Yet no matter how superior the materials, a ruin is just a ruin. Tis not that would decide a battle's outcome. Which brings us to my second theory, that he has some other, more personal connection to this site. What if these structures are remnants of a time before history? A star that was yet whole and unbroken. Such traces in the source would have been obliterated by the succession of umbral calamities, but here in the first they might have remained untouched for millennia. A copy of the mural in the Kitana Ravel. Almet presented to me Almet oh wait, I hear my dog doing something. Water baby? One second, chat. I think my baby's thirsty. Oh! Future Prince, thank you for the 12 month resub! One year? We love to see it. Thank you! Hi, Kia! What's up? Big baby was thirsty. Okay. All right. Let me fix my wig. I think I'm. Oh! I think I'm good now. <laughs> what dog do you have? I have a Samiad. Let's see if we can see him. He decides to to walk by. He's still drinking his water. I don't have any treats to bait him with, so. He's definitely not gonna come say hi to me. Oh, you have one named Snowy? Oh, how sweet! Is that an Aaron chair? I believe it is, yeah. Hi, Mama! Hi, Mama! Wanna come say hi? No? Say hi? Listen. Oh, Mama. You can have this. You gonna go back to sleep now?
ma'am, that's a cloud. You're telling me. Um. Oh, that noose. No, that's all hair. That. Bubba? I dropped my controller. What am I ever to do? <laughs> you done? You gonna go bye bye now? Let me take this one. Wow, my hair. Oh, he stretch. Hi. Hi, honey. I have nothing to offer you. Did you think I was gonna give you this? Before I know. All gone. All gone, Mama. Have I done? This is what he loves. He loves just getting pats. Best friend. Best friend. Have a good dog break. Don't we love a good puppy break? Love a good puppy break. Do my therapy? My little therapy dog? Yeah? Going bye bye now? Say bye bye! He's there for me when nobody else is. Okay. Let's fix whatever it is that I can. Hey, Viper! Okay. And now let's put on the, the Nico ears. And let's put on the headset. I think I'm good to go. My dog is staring at me in the corner of my eye. It's mildly terrifying. You done? You better not be trying to give me attitude. I see you. I see you winding it up. Hi! What's going on? Are you scared of my ears? You don't like my ears? You don't like mommy's ears? I know, I kind of look like you now! He distracted. Sony, thank you for the sub mother <laughs> sub. He smelled something out the door. He's a big baby. I love my booba. Okay, a copy of the mural in the Katana Ravel. Almet presented it to me during my visit to Fanau after our victory in Calusia. Am I getting a little flashback? Hmm. Here, in the first scene, by Emmet Salk's own words. It dep oh, right! It depicts a city of eons past and disaster which befell it. The design is much simplified, of course, but do you see the similarities between its towers and those you've just inspected? Kind of, like the tall window? We are close to the truth, I feel. Let us search this. Can I help you? You just wanna hang out with mommy? You've been so needy today. Mommy's working so she can buy you snacks. Mommy's working, mamas! 
I'm working my boobs. Oh my gosh. 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 Set up a pup cam, please. If I could, I would. Maybe when I move into my new place. Oh my gosh. Petting Waldo is work. He deserves it. No, you're so right. He's so spoiled. He's so spoiled. Look at all this jiggle. You see this? <laughs> Done? Okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> He's so weird. Thank you for the hydration. Okay. We are close to the truth, I feel. Let us search the surrounds for another tower. One which matches the picture near enough to remove all doubt. From what I have seen, not more than sand and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no such structures. I suggest, I suggest we try our luck further to the northwest. All right. You may view the Katana Ravel mural at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. The quest destination will not be displayed on the map. You must search for a structure which resembles the buildings in the mural, then inspect it from the survey point. The survey point will be, fo will be found nearby in a location which allows a full view of the structure. So why don't I just find the glowing, the glowing part on the floor? Oh wait, no, the place is huge. Okay. All right. So I'm looking for a glowy mountain and then buildings. Okay, so we have to go northwest. All right. I can feel my eyelash coming off again. But this time I didn't cry. Ancient Green, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badger remotes and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. All right. So maybe over here where that is. I see a glowy mountain. I'm not far enough. I gotta keep going. I need to go Mimi's now. Good night, chat. And even though you ignored me and Gridania today, I hope you have a good night, sorry. Good night, dentist. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. Did I, what did I miss from last night? Oh, that went up twice today. It was Grahatia and Alize. When Grahatia was simping for me in the flashback, that made me overwhelmed. And Alize, my sweet baby, my sweet baby girl, and she cried because of me. That got me. That got me. I love her. Oh. I don't want to move my chair. I shouldn't have moved my chair. My little chubby boy. Come back, baby. Did you see his little paw? Hi, Bubba. Come right now. Wanna come lay down with mama? Wanna lay down with mama? Come here. No? What do you want, baby? So for those who don't know, this is my dog, Waldo. He is turning four in March. I got him when he was just a little puffball. Uh-uh! No attitude. I saw that, mister. I saw that. Um, yeah, so that's Waldo. Uh, he is a Samiad. He's annoying as hell. He's very barky, but he is my best friend and I love him to death. Yeah, I love you. I love you, pumpkin. You're my baby. I think something startled him in the, um, in the hallway. Now he's just being a baby. Right, pumpkin? Oh, big yawn, mama. <laughs> a 
I love him. He's my hands away. Look at those paws. He's so round. Can I get a zoom in on him? Oh boy. Look at that boy. Are you a handsome boy, Mama? Are you my handsome baby? Yes, you are. Are you my good boy? Are you my good boy, Mama? Yes. Yeah. Oh, is something in your eye? Is something bothering your eye, Mama? Can I come look? One second shot. <laughs> Nothing in your eye, you're just being a brat. You just want to play. Hello. Okay, he's just being a brat and he wants to play, but mommy has to work. Stop it, go away. <sighs> yeah, he is just around. Does he do the Sammy lean? Or head lean? The hmm? Hmm? Of course he does. No, Waldo doesn't rest his head on me and demand snugs. He barks at me until I tell him to get on the couch or get on my bed, and then he's like, and then he hops off and fucks off and pretends that he didn't ask for any of that. He's he's special. <laughs> Being a brat, wonder where he learned that from. Definitely not from me. No way in hell. Me teaching my dog to be a brat? Mm. Yeah, he very much is my child. He's got a lot of my personality in him, which is very funny. <laughs> no, it's definitely not me. Yeah, he got it from Pepper, guys. Come on. I'm not a brat. Me? No. Waldo, I'm not playing with you, baby. You already went on a WALK as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, I'm good. Shit, how do I get over there, though? Okay, so there is, like, a little path up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Am I stuck? No. I'm just dumb. what he wants from me I think he just I literally think he just wants to play um, but it's fine when I'm done streaming whenever the hell that is I'll WALK him and maybe he'll feel better holy shit it's 1130 and we're only here actually I don't even know what that means only here I don't know how much is left of this game <laughs> I hope there isn't a lot more we're on like the level 79 quest so I can only assume we're making like really good progress. Oh, here's the cavern where I have to go through. The flounder's floor. Ooh. This is really pretty, but I'm fucking terrified. This somehow doesn't seem like the right place. But I will keep looking. Oh, just oh. Do I find the view here? No, there's a lot of glowy something or the others, but 
She said in the northwest, right? Then inspect it from the okay. The question the quest destination will not be displayed. Oh right, right, right. Um Fuck, she said northwest, right? I I'm I'm very northwest. I'm very, very northwest. Maybe too northwest. You're at least 10% through Shadowbringers? Yeah, at the very least. I have made some sort of progress through the through the MSQ. Thank God. Ugh. I hate this. It's like it's really pretty here, but oh. But I'm so scared of water that the idea of being, like, underneath it terrifies me. At least I'm not swimming, though, you know? Like, at least I can, like, breathe. And walk. What times are you, Sire? I need to stream so it'd be good to know when to catch the start. I'm, um, I'm in the Eastern time zone. Uh, normally I start my streams anywhere between 6 and 8 p.m. Unfortunately, sometimes it's at 9 p.m. I do a lot of late night streams. They're easiest for me. Uh, so yeah. If you like late night hangs, things to watch when you're trying to fall asleep, I'm that person for you. I can only assume I have to look off into this direction. I don't think it's going to be further up. What if it is? Oh? 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 I fucking whiz right past it, huh? Ooh. More lanterns? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's it's a chin. <laughs> All right, this is definitely it. It's not glowy, like I thought. Yep, that's it. Hi, this is the mural writ large. Though I cannot guess at its purpose, it must have been an imposing sight. How much of the tower's height lies hidden beneath the ground, I wonder? Ooh, imagine if we have to like remove the sand or something. Centuries of our history have settled upon such ruins countless layers of dust and sediment. Okay, the baby's gone, finally. Entire civilization, its existence forgotten by all except a handful of Asians. Imagine carrying that on your back. And yet it did exist. They lived here, in this city. But let us focus on what we've learned thus far. The Ando chieftain spoke of mysteries stirring of a land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomenon relates to the ancients' return. Thus can we surmise that what the Ando saw shining in the abyss was, in all likelihood, yet another remnant of this age-old civilization. Interesting. Bye, Ancient Green! Take care! And who else would light the lanterns, as Reen put it, than Emmett Sulk himself? It is almost certain he is there. Laying in the ancient city? In the ruins of the ancient city? Hmm. I mean, that would make sense. This is the- this is the ancient city that he was discussing, right? Like, his home or whatever? But if we are to find the stronghold in a timely manner, it seems gaining the Ando's trust remains our swiftest path forward. Alright, so I think now we have to go... Oh shit, fuck. Oh my god, oh my god. We have to go back here, presumably? No? 
Oh, am I talking to her again? Your soul seems eager to share discoveries with the others. Okay, now we're going back. Thank you for assisting me with my investigations. I shall seek out our companions to share what we have learned. As much as I would like to tell you to sit down and leave the rest to us, your condition demands that we make all reasonable haste. If you're not too wary, it may be useful to speak with whatever their name is again and ask if there is aught else he is willing to divulge. All right. I feel like I have to do an Uri Andre quest now or a Thancred quest. That's the vibe I'm getting. You enjoying your fire? Ah, Alfino's friend. You and your companions have done much to repair the damage caused with, when the water is parted. Anything else you can do? Hmm, have you been to the walls of the Forgotten? I think I had just come from them. The remnants of the Northwest, yes? You visit them unbidden? Are, is Alpha saying hi to me? <laughs> Could it be that your footsteps were guided by the ancients? I believe it may be so. Listen then, and I will tell you of our plans to bring light to the walls, and that we that we might answer the shining call of illuminated land. We have requested a finless craftsman to shape for us a sacred lamp. He is odd for a land dweller, choosing as he does live does to live in the ocean, but his skill is beyond question. It is concerning, however, that we have heard nothing of his progress. If you were to visit this artist and return with our long-awaited light, then any doubt as to your purpose would be laid to rest. Ah! His name is Grenold. You will find his workshop in a metal structure to the south, so that's where he's been. Okay. Can I... Cut the... Wait, where in the south? Oh, I see. Here, at this landmark. What is the easiest way out of here? I don't... Can I... Can I get out this way? Do I have to... Oh, I see. Jump up over here. Okay. Can I just go over here? Easy. You, you just missed Luna's cat minion sitting in the campfire for like eight seconds. No! Not like this! Wait, do I not have my minion out? I don't think orshafon has been out this whole time. I think I removed him for like... For something. But I haven't seen him at all. There he is. There's my baby. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> oh shit, it opens up. Hell yeah. Whoa! It's very steampunk. This is very neat. What up, Grinnell? Oh, that's just great. That That is. He minds playing tricks on me now. Look, Grinnell, someone's come to visit you at the bottom of the bleeding ocean. Or might be as your... Wait, or might be as you're a ghost, eh? Go on, foul shade. Feast yourself on me, rotten soul. I've got no use for it. Craftsman's what can't craft is more pointless than a sea slug with a domin, with a domin hammer. And that's an insult to bloody sea slugs. You're not appears to be suffering from a crushing bout of self-doubt. Alright, let's psych him up. Bleah! <laughs> hey? You wouldn't be trying to raise me spirits now, would you, spirit? Now, what? <coughs> not what you'd expect from a servant of the netherworld. At the same time. Why are we gasping? Has it really come to this? Have we met- have we met before? There might be as we cross paths back in the Crystarium, but I don't reckon we've been formally introduced. Name's Grinald, and this year is meant to be me underworld- the on me, me dib it. Name's Grinald, and he and this here is meant to be me underwater sanctuary. A place where I can give myself over to me work, far from distractions of the outside world. And yet here you stand, 
Now, what's so damn important that you dive all the way down to the bottom of the bleeding tempest to, bo to bother me? Oh. Ah, the Ondo's lamp. Gods, curse me, empty head. I've not so much as made a start. No! Okay, I swear to God, if this man makes me do it, or makes me assist in any way, I'm worth less than a sea slug. Nay, the slime left by a sea slug. We delivery dates long past. We work benches untouched, and I call myself a bleeding artisan. You've heard their beliefs, have you? Bringing light to them ruins ruins will be an act of deep religious and cultural significance. And it was my privilege as a craftsman to be tasked with providing a ritual instrument worthy of the occasion. But I just can't bloody well. Gah! Me mind's a bleeding blank. It's like I pissed away me last drop of inspiration. Oh no. Tell me you've got Summit to show me. Some of us will give me a ruse right good, kick up the arse. Um... I have a... Mural. The Ondo want to honor the coming of these ancients, so their ancient light's got to blaze the right kind of brightness. Like, that the spark of life caught in a crystal. But just that being sparkly is not enough. It's got to dance of joy and sorrow and a sense of hardship endured. You know what I mean? Do I know what you mean? Your thoughts turn to Brandon. Oh, and the crystal you discovered at the end of his journey. Maybe Grinnell could find inspiration in that. I've let the Ondo down, I. But mourn that I've let myself down. Might as well go back to Menden Kettles. Drogo not a crystal which once belonged to one of Arbert's companions? What's this? What's that you've got there? It's a striking beauty. It shines with heartache and laughter and the transience of life, like the turmoil of a, a history made manifest. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. <sighs> you'd, cap you'd never capture such a gleam, not if you labored a hundred years. But bugger me if I don't mean to try. Where are my tools, gods damn ye? I must set work. I must set to work before the feeling fades. Nice. Ah! Level eighty. Finally. Finally! Finally! We're at the level 80 quests! Oh my fucking god! We've made it! I've made it! Here we go! Okay, chat real quick. My head is killing me. Can we take a pause so I can take off my wig? Oh, but wait, it looks so good right now. Wait... Wait a minute. Hold on. Never mind. I look too good. Never mind. I'll just take an Advil instead. <laughs> nah, I look too good. I am not risking taking this off and not looking good, okay? You know what? Yeah, bathroom break. Let's do a bathroom break, okay? Mm. <coughs> Fashion and beauty is worth the pain. Boy, do I know that well. You think I wear these bras because I like them? You just push around your pill? Yeah, so I can't swallow pills. Um, so I have to break them into like four pieces and then swallow. But I have to find the courage to do it. So sometimes I have to swish for a moment. Don't judge me. Okay, let me see if I can fix this. You know what? I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna just take off the wig cap and put it on raw. Which I know is taboo if you have long hair, especially long black hair, but like... Oh, that's so much better! The wig cap was what was killing me, so now I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Which is like pinning and pinning and pinning and pinning. Which honestly might not be the best solution. But 
rugby ball. Yeah, baby, I'm raw dogging it. All right, chat, how are we doing? How are we holding up? According to Kelsey, we only have four more quests left, which means, which means the end of Shadowbringers is coming. Well, at least like Shadowbringers itself and not the post Shadowbringers content. I still have that to do. Are you ready? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be ready for. So like, no. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna be able to cry again unless Grahatia dies. Oh, that feels so much better. This feels so much better. Oh my god. I think it was the wig cap. So I don't know where my normal wig caps are. I, I wear flesh tone ones that like I've stretched out and they sit on my head really well. Because I have a lot of hair, so they need to be not like tight, right? Um, but the one that I was wearing is the one that came with the wig, and it's fucking awful. I stretched it out, and it still wasn't stretched enough. Like, see that? That's n that's not enough for my head. It needs to be like that to really hold my hair. And that is what was irritating me. Like, the lace front is really itchy. But that wig cap. Oh, my God. I can barely feel the wig now. This is so much fucking better. I know, wig caps fucking suck. I don't like wearing them, but like, I have to if I'm wearing like these at like a con, because look at this bump. That's what my bun does to my, to my wigs. That's why like I normally only cosplay characters that have long black hair or like dark brown hair or like dark purple hair or you know, like something that like I can get away with because it's easy to, it's easy to, to edit and I can just use my own hair. My own beautiful, luxurious, long black hair. I have tried braiding my hair and pinning it, but it gives me a headache. But like, remember, my hair is thick. So when I braid my hair, it's a thick braid, you know? All right, chat. Um, go, go do your bathroom breaks and stuff and we'll resume the MSQ in like two minutes. I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a bit. What's happening? Oh, we're just taking a quick break. Yeah, get some water, do your thing. Speedy pin curls, teach me your ways. Think of the hydration. Where'd you get to? We just got to the level 80 quest. Ah. Oh. Are you planning on doing all the role quests? I am. Obviously not tonight, but I've been told to do them. Does anyone know how to get makeup out of a wig safely? Lysol? Because it's like plastic, it's synthetic. Um, water? But anyways. Um, yeah, I've been told to do the rule quests before I get too deep into post uh, post Stormblood, st post Shadowbringer stuff. So I think that might be the first thing that we tackle, apart from picking up some raids. Wig shampoo? Okay. Mineral water? Okay. Sure. I'll try that. Cause, like, it's not too bad. Like, I don't mind that, right? Because, like, it's kind of covered. But, you know, if I ever want to do a thing like this, that'd be bad. But it's also easy to Photoshop. Bring with me whenever I get around to come in Toronto. Aw, Kelsey, you're too sweet. I appreciate that. Oh. I just cracked my leg. Okay. All right, chat, are we ready? Has everyone returned? Is, there, is anyone AFK? Oh yeah, don't forget to stretch. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. <sighs> 
Oh, I just cracked my fucking back. Oh. Can't turn just that way. I'm AFK in Gridania, not this time. Okay. All right, chat. Let me see some pop cats in the chat if you're ready. Are you ready? Are we ready? Are we ready, spaghetti? Give him to me. Give him to me. No? Fuck you, Mango. <laughs> yeah? Okay. All right. All right. All right. There are four quests left in Shadowbringers. We've finally reached the level 80 quest, which means the end is nigh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. This is the Illuminated Land. I can feel it, a vision forming in me mind. Step aside, lass, and let me itching hands get to work. -na -na -na. Oh, cutscene. And done. I've taken the wonders that Crystal showed me and channeled them into a new shape what befits the Ondo's spiritual character. It looks like a squid, like a coral squid. Not a bad job, if I do say so myself. Now how are we transporting it? And to think, it was this close to hanging up on me. I was this close to hanging up my hammer after studying the craft of the mansions. I've been across the length and breadth of Norverant and gobbled up every scrap of craft and wisdom what I could find. But no matter which technique I tried, my work just was just no comparison. I couldn't even figure out how they put them dang buildings together. A mystery for the ages. That's what drew me here in the first place. I built me workshop, got the forges burning, then lost me bleeding will to craft. Thank the gods for that crystal of yours, or I might never have gotten it back. I won't pry into your business, but I reckon your little miracle there has been through the kind of journey they sing songs about. The echoes of the memory it holds just speak directly to your heart. Oh, and it certainly did. Hi, I can still feel them coursing through me. The inspiration is not fading away. It's well enough stronger and stronger. Give me the chance, and I reckon I can weave the Crystal Saga into other things as well. But bugger me, I'd almost forgotten the Ondo's commission. You could drag that lamp- You want me to fucking drag it?! And you're okay with that, Pepper? Girl. You now have access to Grinolt's Forge. Equipment rewards will become available for collection based on the roll quest you've completed. Sick. All right, deliver the lamp. Oh, I could just TP. Perfect. Oh. Was that? Was I supposed to talk to him? Girl, if you fucking think I'm going all the way back- Oh, it's just down there. Never mind. Okay, well. Never mind. I guess I'm going back. You know, I wanted to just continue the MSQ, but no! Chat said, go back to the topless man! Me. Cross, I am not an end walker yet. I'm so sorry, buddy. Thank you for the dream with Reese if I appreciate it. How you doing? Oh, but it's so far away. Chat, I'll never make it. <laughs> Look, everything that goes wrong in my stream is your fault. And y'all know that, all right? That's a burden that y'all gotta bear, all right? Fuck you, Jin. <laughs> Go to the bo- It does kind of look like a bong. All right. You want me to just talk to him? I swear to God, if it's ugly, if y'all are giving me ugly ass shit, Journey's End Gear, Tank, Shadowbringer, oh. This? You want me 
to be a J and use the trailer weapon? That's what you wanted? <laughs> Ooh. This is kind of sick, though. I like the... Ooh, look at the caboose. I got a hook. <gasps> I got a hook. You can clip me onto you. This is kind of sick, though. Not the pants. Ooh, I like the... Oh, no. I don't like the boots. Never mind. That, this is kind of nice, though. This is kind of sick. Oh. Oh, right. That's, that's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Can I... Oh, I take them all? Oh! Oh! Oh, for me? Oh! Thank you. Chat, do you want me to use the... The... Trailer Claymore? Yeah, Emmett's gonna hook you to his bed with that gear on? No, I... I am not on the Emmett train, okay? Okay? So you can clip onto Emmett as his his pocket kitty. Can someone draw that? Can someone please draw, like, a little pepper clip to him? Just going... <laughs> do you... Do y'all... Do y'all want me to use the sword? I mean, mine is cooler. I'll... Should I? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll only use the sword. Because this is Pepper's cannon outfit right now, okay? Oh, I look so lame. I don't have any cool flames or flooby fluba anymore. That's fine, though. <laughs> For a cool cutscene? You know what? We ball. So true, bestie. Do it for the cutscenes. <laughs> okay, let's go drag that fucking lamp over. All right. Hello. I brought you a gift. What is that you have there? It's a lamp. The sacred lamp. Then the finless one has kept his promise. My people tell me of the many deeds you have performed in the name of aiding the cups. And now you come to me, bearing the light we had almost surrendered, hope of ever seeing. We can doubt your purity no longer. You are, your arrival was the will of the ancients. Yes, the time for fear has passed. We shall take the lamp, unveil its aust austere illumination upon the walls of the forgotten. Gather there with your companions, and we shall speak again once our prayers have been offered. Alrighty! The lamp is honestly really pretty. I can't even lie. I love the... Oh, the stewards of the Ondo. We offer up our light in answer. That crystal you showed the artisan. Was it... Did it belong to one of my friends? you were always watching missed that <laughs> missed that part did you i tried to give you a measure of privacy no one wants a spirit looking over their shoulder every moment of the day well i was under the assumption that you were so so tell me if you would how did you come across that crystal well, it's a bit of a long story. And he was really hot. And he was also really hot. It was Brandon's then. Strange that I should learn such things now, after they're long gone. They were fine friends, every one of them. I didn't expect death to teach me so much. About them, about Seto, about you, about the hope that hides at the heart of this world. I've never been one for idle chit-chat, but if by some miracle I could see them all again, I doubt I'd ever stop talking. I'm grateful I got to bend your ear at least. And just for that, I reckon I'll stick with you to the very end. The foreshadowing. 
the foreshadowing bringers. Foreshadow bringing. Apologies, oh. we were a little late to the gathering. How? I was just with y'all. It seems we succeeded in gaining their trust. The delay wasn't exactly welcome, but at least our many hands made light work. And they seemed especially impressed with your contribution. Our hero indeed. I am really glad that this game has really improved the quality of um, quest chains and quest lines. Because now when I'm doing these like fetch quests or whatever, they're not exhausting. They add to the narrative and they're intriguing enough and give me enough juice that like I actually want to pay attention. Whereas before, I'm just like, you know, where it almost seemed like some of the other things didn't serve much to the narrative. Or they were there only for, a, just for a moment and still have yet to be referenced again, you know? Like, obviously I'm, I'm talking a lot of shit about A Realm Reborn, um, but they have definitely improved the quality of life of this game. And yes, it doesn't feel like filler. It doesn't feel like filler at all. The blue quest to me or the is the filler. That is what I want to do when I just want to make the world feel bigger. Those blue quests. And then the and then the, like the smaller ones, it's just to that for me, I feel like those small ones are like role play kind of. You know, it's like, "Oh, well, I'm in Ishgard, I may as well go spend some time helping these people and then do the blue quest." You know what I mean? That's how it feels to me or if I need like money, which I don't. I have Sarnix. <laughs> um, but yeah. I just really wanted to quickly get that off my chest. Um, Low-key, I kind of love Pepper's look. Nice, right? Yishtola was telling us those structures may date back to the age of the Asians. An Asian homeland. Under Despite his sea. many protestations, I never quite believed Emmett Selk was telling the truth. Nor I. But there is no denying the evidence before our eyes. Clearly this was once a great city. A home they would see restored, no matter how many tens of thousands of years it takes. Another really cute thing, and I don't know if it's fully intentional or if this is just me making like a headcanon, but I do love that Alize and Alfie almost always in certain scenes, they always kind of look like their mouth is a little bit open, like, like in, like wonder, like wonderment, I guess, you know, like they're just like, whoa. And it's a very subtle thing that I've picked up on, which helps show their age and experience versus everyone else that they're with. And yes, they've gone through a lot, but it's that like, in awe, yeah. It's like that little childish, almost innocence to them that I like, because they're such strong characters for their age, but it's really cute to see them be like, whoa, you know? I just, I like those little things. <laughs> it's a hollow dream when you think about it. Even if they manage to rejoin all the worlds, they'll never bring back the ones who were lost. I know, that's, that's what I mean. It's like, but would I have they're done any treated different? that way, you know? And I like that. Are you, how are you feeling? Oh shit. Maybe that was a bad time to do that. Oh, that's them. I thought those were crap. You have completed your devotions? Um, I was gonna say, um, my, well, one of my, like, complaints, not for this game, but games that feature 
characters that are meant to be young, they're never really shown as if they're young. And I'm sure you know what I mean. It's like, you'll have a teenage character who is overly developed, is somehow extremely strong and mature and sexy, you know, like, th like that trope. So it's nice to see kids being kids, even though they are also very intelligent and also very strong. Like those are two, those are concepts that can coexist. It doesn't need to be one or the other. Um, and so it's nice seeing the innocence and the wonderment and the, the vulnerability in them. You know? I like that. I really like that. If It makes them feel more authentic too. Um, which is why I think I got so attached to Alize. Because of like traveling with her and like all those moments where I'm reminded, oh my god, this is a child. Like, this is still a child who's going through more than she can handle, you know? That's- that's why- that's just- why? It's just- it's very good. <laughs> yes. To the honored ancients have we offered up our prayers and our gratitude. You too have our thanks. Might we trouble thee, then, to tell us more of the illuminated land of which thou didst lately speak? To the west of here lies a great trench. Some days ago, a light appeared in that endless darkness. Emmet! Curious, we ventured closer and discovered in the depths an entire city. The buildings we spied were akin to our own everlasting abodes. Impossibly so. We understood at once the ancients had risen. There could be no doubt. Taken with terror, we retreated to the cups, and I decreed that none should enter the trench until such time as we received a sign. Might it still be possible to reach this city of the ancients? Hmm. With no water to drown you, a finless one could now travel there. Yes. Oh, okay. I am convinced you are the sign for which we have been waiting. My people will show you the way. Can we just walk down? <laughs> like... Shall we? I We don't really have a choice. God, I love Pepper's look. I was really doubtful at first, but the choker, the like, the, the gear, the earrings, they just look so, so good. Okay. I almost thought that said the onion guide. <laughs> okay. The chieftain has bid me guide, has bid me guide your steps to the illuminated lands. Come, the way lies downwards. Follow the path of coral and rock and join your comrades below. What do you mean join them below? They're already there? You know what? I'm not even gonna use my chocobo. I'm just gonna walk. Ooh. Oh! Ooh! Ah! 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 is in that trench, then we'll have to assume he's not swimming in salt water. I wouldn't want to suddenly find ourselves at the edge of Bismarck's bubble with no air to breathe. 
All are gathered, yes? And I shall describe the path you must take. Enter the cavern, cavern beyond. Follow the wall down and down and down. Once at the bottom, find a passage northwest, then continue west and west and west. The way is not simple. Keep your friends within shouting distance, and do not stray into the deep. Is this a dungeon? No. Just before the journey's end, you will find the Caliban Gap and the barrier we placed at its mouth. This obstacle will fade should you raise a hand towards it. We have made it so. Most succinct? 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 Whatever. Succinct? Explanation. We thank you for your guidance. Right! Deeper into the depths we go! Alrighty, babes. I don't know which way we're going. I'm going this way. Um, where am I on the map? Oh, okay. Oh, either current! Hell yeah. Succinct, succinct, succinct. Succinct, 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 me, 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 me. I nailed it. Oh shit, fuck me! <laughs> Peppermint's final voice. I thought there was an invisible wall! Yo, me when I'm playing fucking Dark Souls. Um, what in the. Oh! Okay, that did not do- Oh my god, Orshifa! My minion! He's drowning! <laughs> Wait, can you- do you- do I see you fly up with me? <laughs> oh my god, wait! Wait! Where is he? <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed! Oh, that's too cute! Okay, sorry. I got- I got distracted. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Whew! Alright. Our guide bade us travel to the cavern floor and thence to the west. Yet it would seem these twisting tunnels defy such simple instruction. Rather than rely, rely on direction alone, it's just we scout with care and lay the path ahead to those who come behind. Okay. Oh. Oh. It is gonna be pathy, huh? Alright. Well, let's get to it. Um. I guess I should follow Urianje. Okay, I see Ishtola over there. Whoa! I have to walk on the giant cock. All right, am I walking on this? The rocks, the rock drops off sharply here, but I think this coral thick, this coral thick enough to serve as a bridge. All right. Chat, I don't like this sound effect. I do not like that sound effect. It's so squelchy. I think if I dance on it, it'll squelch really, like, like a lot. <laughs> I hate this. The foreboding squelch. Pepper walking in Limsa? Disgusting. Every time I step foot into Limsa, I feel like I've committed a crime. Like, a second-hand crime, you know? I have him, too. I have the little fella, too. Thank you very much. Why do you think Pepper is so white? You thought it was because of the Light Wardens? No! That's Catboy come. Come on. Alright, what's up, Elfino? Ah, oh, Pepper, you have a choice of two routes from here. You can either take the long way to the south along the rocks, or skip along this coral branch as Alizea has done. I, for one, shall be following my sister's example. <clears throat> I will also be following your sister's example and walking on the big squelchy cock. It's so veiny, too. Like, could they not have picked another color? Why does it have to be fleshy? This is disgusting! I love it! I mean, no, wait, come back. <laughs> All right. The Caliban Gorge. Oh, we made it. Okay, so now we have to go this way. Oh, I see Allie's say, My baby! Baby girl, I'm coming! Baby girl. Oh, I'm here, baby. Oi. Oi, babes. There you are. Come on. I think I found the tunnel we were looking for. 
which I can only assume will be a dungeon. Oh, look at that manta! Ooh. Good mac and cheese? Oh my god. It is kind of fun. Like, every time I make mac and cheese, I'm just like... You know, sometimes that do be how it sounds. <laughs> but then when I have sex, that's all I think of. And it has the opposite effect, you know? Because cooking is one thing. It's like, haha, that's funny. But when I'm actually fucking, it's like, I don't want to be thinking about mac and cheese right now because now I'm just hungry and I don't even want to have sex anymore. It's just not the same. Alright. Is it this? There's a barrier of some kind. Is it like a glamour? Is it concealing it or something? Here, this is like the barrier. Oh, right, the barrier the Ando spoke of. Well, it was rather more arduous than expected. I feel a sudden rush of gratitude for the smooth roads our ancestors cut through the wilderness. It was a treacherous path indeed. Now I believe, now I believe one of us needs but raise a hand to banish this next obstacle. Pepper, I'd like you to do the honors. A fucking course. God forbid any of y'all do anything. It worked! Gone. Just like that. I suppose we should head in. Mm. See the barnacle titties back there? Like as not, the tunnel will be just as perilous as the road we walked to get here. Let's all stay aware of our surroundings, shall we? Oh yeah, it's dungeon time, baby. I think. Right. Proceed towards the end of the Caliban Gap. Okay, maybe not. Titties! Barnacle tits! Barnacle tits! Oh, barnacle boobs! Boobicles! Barnaboobs! Nah, I like boobicles. Boobicles! Boobicles! Does whatever a boobicle does? I don't know how the spider pig thing goes. I'll just walk on a boob. I love this for me. Hurry up and finish. I need the cheesiest of oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Barnacle boobs is the end game zone. Fuck yeah. Now I have motive to complete this damn game. Hello, Uriange. Ah! Where are thy footfalls, my friend? Our road taketh us ever onward. Okay, bro. This way. And then I go this way. Oh, we're almost there. Like it's that pole right there where the coral is so generously pointing to. <laughs> Look at the titties! Barnacle boobs, barnacle boobs. I love me some barnacle boobs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. My sweet peach waiting for me. Wait, what was that? <gasps> was that one of the buildings? Oh, did we make it? By the gods! <gasps> we made it, we made it, we made it! That is not what I expected! Oh my go oh my god! They sunk New York City! When the Ondo spoke of a city, I did not think they meant an actual city. Rest in peace, New York. Oh my god. Then we are seeing the same view. It reminds me of Bioshock. Like Rapture, you know? The remnants in the Ondo settlement were solid material structures. But these... Everything here pulses with ether. Tis an enchantment on a monumental scale.
I like how we're all like, what the fuck? <laughs> if you listen close, you can hear Alicia Keys singing. <laughs> If you've played, sorry, I have to fix my eyelashes. If you've played um, Bioshock, um, the underwater, if I remember correctly, the underwater city was called Rapture. I think. And it was very similar to this. In fact, actually, it looked a lot like this. thought there was going to be a fucking dungeon here. Sorry, our, our community is a Pepe-free zone. Feel free to use my emotes or the Kermi emotes, which I believe are have been added. Racists ruin everything they do. I understand that like Pepe may not be controversial for some of you, but you know, I would rather have a silly emote. Silly emote. I'd rather have an emote be rid from my from my stream knowing that that makes people more comfortable. Because they're just emotes, you know? And I know that being said, it's like, well, if it's just emotes, why not just use Pepe? Why do you care so much? If we don't use Pepe, you know, just use fucking something else. If it's not that deep, you know. <sighs> All right. Ready? Ready. Oh shit, that's Thanker. I don't want to talk to you. Pepper, did you note the style of the architecture? It's the same used for the remnants of the cups and the murals, painted towers. Look closely. Am we? I am looking very closely at you, mommy. Emmett Salka has not simply reclaimed these ruins. He has layered the semblance of an entire city upon them. Gods, the magnitude of his artifice is staggering. Though it pains me to admit, we do not fully understand the feats of which an old world Asian is capable. Wait. Is he living here alone? Imagine, he builds this big, or he rebuilds this big, beautiful city. And is living all on his own? Fuck me, man. He is such a well-written character. But I am not simping! I am not! <laughs> we found a destination, but how to descend into the city itself? Oh, do I speak to Orianger now? Alize? Oh, baby. My baby girl! I gotta sneeze. No, I don't. I do. No, I don't. I do. The end of a world. Alize is stealing herself for the task ahead. It's intimidating, yes, but we have to start somewhere. Why don't we have a closer look at the tower to the southeast? We might be able to reach it from the edge of the trench. Southeast, this one. <laughs> it's 
Cyrus a lot of things, but a simp? Never. <laughs> I am not simping for him. I do not like him. Yes, he's made me blush, but that does not mean I like him. If he had better posture, maybe white hair, maybe didn't smell like a rat, took a shower once in a while, maybe I'd be fucking into him. But this man is so crusty. He reeks. He's a shit. Or Shafal, my beloved, do not worry. I will not be replacing you. My little blue-haired baby. Am I even fucking here? Investigate the imposing doors? What door is that? That's not a fucking door. Aha! Light! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. I am too short to... God, what if I... What if I... I'm, try... I'm trying to take a peek. <laughs> oh man. That didn't really work the way I wanted it to. All right, yep, this is how we investigate doors. Velma with no glasses style. <laughs> Look at the size of those doors. Now I know how pixies must feel. Intruder? What the fuck? Peppermint recognized. Welcome to the city of Amarot. Am I wrong correctly? Will you be riding the lift? What the fuck do you mean? What do you mean? How did it recognize me? What? Did the building just welcome you? Yes! May happen is not so passing strange. Did Emmett itself not invite Pepper to visit his abode? Oh yeah. His plain thy coming was expected. Now, please, Uriange, do not say my coming was expected! Stop! You're yeah, freezing! <laughs> Use like literally any other word. Where will this lift be taking us? I don't know. Oh, the lift services every level of Akora Heights, but is presently configured to convey passengers directly to the ground floor. Okay. Well, there you have it. In the absence of some few hundred yalms of rope, we have little choice but to accept the offer. With emphasis on the we, I'm not about to let you walk into that place alone. Why, thank you, baby. Uh, I wish to ride the lift. Ground floor. Now. As you wish, the lift will arrive shortly. <laughs> Next stop, ground floor. Facilities include the Bureau of the Administrator, the Bureau of the Architect, and the Capitol. Good grave. It's loud. <gasps> Hi, Adrian. How you doing? How are you? Emmett is so confident that your orgasm is expected. Look! It's not going to happen! Repeat after me! Cyrus Spooks will not be simping for Emmett Squelch. Your turn. <laughs> that sewer man? Oh, I dropped my, my stuff. I will not be simping! No! Chat! Chat, no! <laughs> You boss studs! I'm gonna be a sewer wife. A sue wife. A wifer. No. No! <laughs> Chat! No! <laughs> I will not. Come on. I will not be simping for Emmett Squelch. 
Mango, I'm not gonna lie, I really thought you gifted a sub to Emmett Silk. I really thought that that's what that was gonna be. But even better, it's Adrian, a man who I will actually simp for. Because have you seen Silver Daddy? Adrian? Thank <laughs> you for the bed with Emmett fan club sub. Uh... Sorry, Stooks will become the rat wife of legend. Call her Master Splinter! That is it! That is it! Jail! <laughs> Jen, thank you for gifting the sub to Emmett Selk. Emmett Selk, welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge your emotes, and your stay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. May I proceed? Uh, is it pronounced Celador? Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to Counter Regiments and your stay. Thank you. <laughs> Wave to Emmett, everybody. Can we give some to Emmett Squall? <laughs> Where is the Emmett Squelch? The real Emmett. We know Emmett Selk, but how about Emmett Squelch? Oh my god, it was his cock that I was walking on when I was coming here. To come to his abode, I had to walk on his squelchy cock. Y'all make sense? And it's the rat man in the room with us right now! <laughs> Oh my god, this is go Oh my god, in the purple? Stop it. My weakness! Purple plants! It's only at this distance that you start to realize just how big the buildings truly are. What did that voice call the city? Amarat? Am I pronouncing that correctly? BP, thank you for getting us up to that rat man! Look, over there. Is that a person? Ah, uh, no, my mistake. That's a giant. That looks like an Asian. Giant or no, a resident of this place may have much m and more to tell us. I say we make the first move. Alfino, you can't just. Ugh! Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, they're huge! Pray excuse my boldness, but might I ask you a few questions? Jesus, fuck! Oh, what adorable costumes. Are you children on an excursion? The strict, like, this district has much to teach you. What the fuck? How odd. That sounded like no language I've ever heard. And yet I understood every word. Just as he understood us. Girl, you gonna break your neck. <clears throat> and which district is this exactly? You must be lost, poor things. You stand in the in the pol in the polylar pol poly polylera poly Paul Illerite? Paul Illerite? Whatever the fuck. The Poly District, wherein lie the institutions most vital to the management of our star. Of our star? Um, can you tell us about No. Can you tell us who rules this city? Who rules? What a curious question. May have you referred to our supervising body, the Convocation of Fourteen? So Emmett Silk isn't the leader here. Hey. Emmett Silk is a member of the Convocation. Were you hoping to witness its deeds firsthand? What does that mean? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hardly surprising, I suppose. The whole world holds its breath as the final days draw near, and our brightest minds race to implement their plans. 
Sometimes we'll screw this up. Thus, you must understand that gaining an audience at this time will be next to impossible. You should hurry home now, before your families begin to worry. Do you need me to walk you back? I'm obsessed with how kind, with how kind this person is. No, thank you. We will be fine. They're just a humble, sweet little giant person. Very well. Take care, little ones. Yeah, so we're in the polyamory district. I love that for us. Oh, they're... They just vanished. What was that all about? To my eyes, these people appear as arcane entities. I suspect Emmett Salk wove them from ether, much as he reconstructed the rest of his- Oh my god, chat. So you know how I was saying that he lives here alone? Do you think in his lonesome, he tried bringing back, like, I don't know, like his people or some form of them? So he didn't feel alone? No, 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 I cannot be- Ah! Oh, ugh! Oh no. Final days. I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna piss and shit chat. Such words will be befit the oblivion described to us by our Asian foe. A catastrophe of unprecedented scale, which did set in motion the summoning of Zodiac, and thence Heidelin herself. But that happened centuries and centuries ago, didn't it? That man spoke as if they were rushing to avert a disaster here and now. Oh my god, are they trapped in a cycle? Like Brandon was? Unless, for these people, the distant past is the here and now. I believe thou hast the right of it, Master Alfino. This ethereal Amorot and its residents appear to be phantoms of a different age. Emmet Selk hath resurrected a memory, a moment in time from before the stars was sundered. Oh, oh! Oh! So we find ourselves in a long destroyed city inhabited by the long departed. An unusual, an unusual situation, to be sure, but at least we're able to parlay with these ancients. In fact, they seem downright eager to chat. I say we use this to our advantage. Split up, strike up some conversations, and see if we can't learn the location of our quarry. And while we're at it, I, it wouldn't hurt to wheedle out a few more details regarding this convocation. A 14 in their impending disaster. I'm going to scream. To mingling, then. Let's meet back here when our jaws start aching. <laughs> he knew I'd be coming. My jaws are gonna be aching. Look. Who wrote this? Y'all couldn't pick any better sequence! You know? <laughs> Alright, wait, what is... What's... What's this? Oh, the elevator. Oh, there's a... There's a big... There's a... There are two big peoples here! Hello! And all you little peoples! Hello! Alright, sorry friends, but I gotta go find more big people. Thank you for the hydration, thank you for the posture check, I appreciate it. Uber danger could be forgiven, but Chad Cred knows exactly what he's doing. Do you think Oriange fucks? I kind of feel like he's a bottom. But like, at the same time... Like... The way I see it, the way I see it, is he's a good fuck. Not necessarily one that you would go to over and over, but every time it's like a storybook fucking like fuck. A storybook fucking fuck, you know? Like, like cliche, like laying in a field of lavender. You know, the birds are tweeting, the sun is setting. You're literally in the lavender beds. Like, that's the kind of vibe that I get from Uri Anger. It's like, I'll fuck you once, but I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right after. Moonbrita plus Uri Anger. Oh my god, Moonbrita tops the fuck out of him, and you know it. Oh 
Oh, I miss Moon. I miss her. Okay, so there's someone here that I can speak to. Is it the ones over here? No. Oh, it's you. Oh, anxious. Okay, it's okay. Hold on. Is it pronounced Amarot? Because if it's pronounced Amarot, then it's Amarot, Amaratine? The Amaratines? Doth thee loveth when I desecrate your flower? You're getting banned. You are getting banned. This is like the fucking chat that we had last night about... About lapping our... <laughs> our sweet nectar. And you know what? That's Uri Anger. He is that fanfic trope. That fanfic narrative style. That's him. He wants to enter my forbidden garden. He wants to lay siege to my fortress. Good gracious, child. Where is your family? You should not be alone at a time like this. Run along home. Quickly now. Have you not heard? Though yet confined to the lands across the sea, a terrible phenomenon afflicts our star. They're calling it the final days. It is said it starts suddenly, a cacophonous keening from beneath the earth. The sound distorts all living things with an earshot and wrests from us control of our creation magics. Once that happens, all is lost. Fear, pain, despair, every dread impulse is siphoned from our minds and given substance. An eternal fall of fiery rain. An incessant spawning of nightmarish beasts. Why am I able to, re to read this? But everything else I can't read. Anyway. Whatever. None can point to the source of the phenomenon. Tis- <laughs> Hello, Anna? Tis as if the star itself has fallen ill. As if a force inimical to life now festers and spreads. Tis only a matter of time until Amarat 2 resounds to that dis disordant? Discordant? Disordant. Squall. You should stay with your loved ones, child. Stay with them. Okay. Alright, so there's another one in the Hall of Rhetoric. Unmarred by the hands of time! Hi, fried rice! How are you? Dyslexia, or as some people spell it, sex daily. Get out. Get out. That was terrible. Oh my god, I accidentally have sent thou a picture of my cock and balls. Prithee, delete it! Lest thou desire to look? Haha, <laughs> I jest. Delete it, should thee crave. Haha, <laughs> nay. Banish it. Lest? <laughs> Can someone send that to my mod Caleb? So they can do a dramatic reading of that so I can make it an alert in my stream? Please? <laughs> hmm? So it seems the hall is host to a most preco precocious visitor this day. And what, pray tell, shall be the subject of our discussion, young one? Ah, the convocation and their handling of the coming peril. It's only natural that you should have questions. Shall we begin with the members themselves? As all know, the fourteen are the wisest and most puissant among us. They are the stewards of order, responsible for decision decisions which keep the star turning season after season. Be it the speaker, be it the speaker, bread, or the emissary, elder bussy, each seat is occupied by an elected sage of surpassing intellect. Logriff, Mitrin, Emmet Selk. Their individual titles have, as a gesture of respect and a matter of tradition, become synonymous with their incumbents. Incumbents? Incubants? In incumbents? Thus, it is with great incredu incredulity. Incredulity? That I greet this recent rumor that a seat in the convocation is soon to be left vacant. If proven true, it would be an unprecedented development and testament to the immense pressure under which our saviors are toiling. In any event, I, for one, am confident they shall deliver our star unto salvation. The debate facilitator, though. I want to go say hello. I can't even fucking see you. Can you see me? How may I help you, little one? Oh, I... Girl, I can't see shit. <laughs> How 
How may I help you, little one? Do you wish to per peruse the transcripts of the great debates? Or would you like to reserve a room for a discussion? We are here to serve your needs. Don't fucking kill me. This is amazing. Beefy Crazy, thank you for the three months. Hold on, let me look at my, my notes. Did I miss anything? Let me see. Yeah, Beefy, thank you for the gift and sub to Nissan. And thank you also for the three month resub. I really appreciate it. Beefy, thank you for giving. Oh, you were the one who gifted us up to the rat man. But wait, Silador, did I say thank you already? For the prime sub? If not, thank you for the prime sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine a Lala. Oh my god. I wish I was playing as a Lala so I could feel that. <laughs> Well, my alt is a Lala named Wind Up Pepper, so it may have to happen. I did? Okay, good. In case you're wondering what it's like to play Lala Fell, it's this. It feels like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my. Yeah, there is something very ominous, but like, beautiful about the way that these that these memories, that these fragments, the way that they're treating me and speaking to me, they don't know me. I look like a child to them, but they're so kind and they feel so warm, even though they're just like spirits, you know? I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's spooky. It's, it's my brand. I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna piss and shit everywhere. Oh my god. If it weren't for it being underwater, I'd probably love it more. Alright, so this is the next place I'm going to. God damn, Pepper, your thighs must be killing you. Pragmatic Amarantine. Passionate Amarantine? An audience with Emmett Selk? I'm afraid you have the wrong office, little one. And besides, you'll be far too busy to field the questions of curious children. Surely you have been told of the looming catastrophe? Every resource available to the Convocation must be, s must be spent upon ensuring our world survives. They have yet to make an official announcement, but it is said, it is said the 14 are moving, towards, moving forward with a plan of scarce credible pro uh, proportions, one which promises to grant will to the very star itself. They will invoke our mightiest spells of creation to birth an entity of all-encompassing magnificence. And then they will rewrite the laws of existence. It is a huge undertaking, and it must be completed ere the corruption spreads this far. Thus I say to you again, do not hold out hope for an audience. I kind of want to talk to the passionate one. Why is it passionate? This is your first time here? Take a number if you haven't already, then settle in for a good long wait. Oh, well, that's... What are you passionate about? What beliefs do you have? Tell me! Okay, where am I going? Oh, I can't TP there. So oh, wait. Ooh, can I go get that really quickly? Let me go, um, what's the word? A tune really quick if I can, if it'll let me. Taking sounds make it feel like the clock is going down until their end. The ticking sound? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear it now. I know I can mount here, but I don't want to. We're doing some, some RP running and shit. <laughs> Under the sea. Yeah, the raptor vibes are incredibly strong, yeah. I really miss Bioshock. I really want to replay um, the series one day on stream. Infinite? Um, alongside Doom, they were, once upon a time, my comfort games. I would play them just to, I don't know, feel good. The combat in those games are so satisfying, you know? Hey, yeah, Pepper's getting in her steps. Alright. And now I can walk back. Okay, there are shops here, which means I'll be staying here for a hot minute, I guess? How do I auto run again? Oh, there we go. It is not really easy to control, but I got this. Oh, Sudoku? Oh my god. I used to play Sudoku all the time. I like Sudoku. One of my comfort games now, though, is Solitaire and those word games on the uh, iPhone. 
<laughs> like uh, the ones that you can sit and play with your friends. My hair is all over my face. Not even my hair, I guess. It's my wig. Oh shit! I missed my turn! Oh man, this is taking forever. Why must I be so small? And... Nope, wrong way! I'm going this way. Alright, alright. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I'm not good at Minesweeper. I... I've tried playing Minesweeper many, many times, but I think I've only won a game of Minesweeper once. And I honestly can't really say that I was even proud of that one. <laughs> do y'all remember? Uh, some of you may not actually, we have a lot of newcomers, but do, do any of you remember when I used to play Solitaire on stream? <laughs> I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> it's satisfying, it's fun, and I'm good at it. It's very cozy. I really want to learn how to play chess. I, um... I learned a bit when I was playing It Takes Two and I got very good at it, but I've forgotten all of chess. I don't remember anything else about it. I don't remember... I know some of the pawn, not the pawns, but some of the playing pieces go this way and some of them go like that. Like they're like this or like they're like this or they... Or they can only move like this. Like in a six box kind of thing. You know? My wife lives and breathes spiders. Oh, spider solitaire! Oh my god! When I was a kid, um, back in the old, old uh, Spider Solitaire days, at the end, they used to have like fireworks go off, but they looked like marbles. And so what I would do with my mom is we would collect the marbles from the computer monitor and put them in a bag. And then I would play, I would play like this imagine, imaginary game with her where I would throw them down the stairs and she would collect them and then bring them back up put them back in the monitor and then we'd play again collect the marbles put them in a bag and yeah <laughs> uh. what the fuck is happening right now what is go i'm not even gonna ask Pepper, if I was not certain before, then I am now. The people of the city believe they face the end of the world. I cannot imagine what purpose compelled Emmett South to recreate this ancient Amorot. And yet, I fancy I hear his words to us echoing throughout his ocean trench. He would have his, he would have his story known. Mm. Alfino is awaiting the return of your other companions. Okay. We can compare notes once the others return. Hopefully, then our next move will become clear. So we're doing a greater purpose now. Cutscene. So it seemed our conversations were much alike. A looming disaster, creation, magics running rampant, and this convocation's efforts uh, to bring salvation out of chaos. I suppose there was talk of little else in the time when these events came to pass. Ah, uh, Hurianger, if I may. What are your thoughts on the ancient's art of creation? A fascinating discipline, indeed. What the mind can conceive may be rendered in reality. All that is required is a clear concept upon which to focus one's will. It is not dissimilar to the primal rites taught by the Asians, wherein ritual ceremony breatheth life into figments of myth and legend. I see we arrived at the same conclusion, then. The people who lived in the age before the Sundering were blessed with vast reserves of mana. No matter how draining these creation magics must be, it seems they paid the cost with not more than a fraction of the ether which coursed through their own bodies.
Emmett Squelch. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. <laughs> Welcome, Emmett Squelch. It's so nice to meet you. I hope you're enjoying your time here. How's your squelching been going? Literally just created the account for me. That, that is love. Mayhap, I'm a sympath. <laughs> My money. <laughs> Yeah, my money is on Jin as well. <laughs> Hi, Jay. How are you? Welcome. What? I mean, it makes the most sense that you of all people would make Emmett squelch for me. your first Final Fantasy? There are plenty of Silver Daddies in the rest of the series like Sephiroth. Yes, this is my first one. I haven't played any other Final Fantasy game except for this one. I have no knowledge of the other games. Oh, shit. If we were to attempt the same, such spells would soon deplete our energies and then seek to draw the balance from elsewhere. From a horde of crystals, mayhap, or from the very land itself. Thus, when this art of creation was placed into our hands, it became in effect- I can't stop fucking laughing. Where is my- where is Emmett Falk? <laughs> a bit rude, no? Let us just say foxy. What the fuck does that mean? Foxy? Foxy? What's foxy? Who- the person behind the mask? Foxy like a jackal? Or she won't crawl? So <laughs> I'm changing the title of the stream to that. <laughs> Just know that this is Adrian's doing. <laughs> or Chiffon croaked? Take it back! So Emmett, how goes it? You having a good night? Been squelching up a storm? Anything you'd like to share with the class? How goes your uh, your plans? To end me and my sweet puppy boy Grahatia, huh? Thus, when this art of creation was placed into our hands, it became, in effect, a means for destruction. An interesting matter which no doubt bears further study, but despite all these revelations, I worry we are no closer to finding Emmett Selk. Has anyone learned aught which might lead to his location? Not directly, mayhap, but from what we've learned, it seems the Convocation of Fourteen is sequestered in the nearby Capitol building. When we went to see for ourselves, the attendant wouldn't let us through without a writ of permission. <clears throat> so we tried to look at the Bureau of the Administrator, where we thought these permissions might be issued. But the, clerk there, but the clerk there said he couldn't help us since our names didn't appear in the registry. And that was where we gave up. I wonder though, Pepper, could you be eligible for one of these writs? The voice in the lift seemed to know who you were. It might be that your name is registered at the bureaus as well. Not to look, I'd say. Meanwhile, I'll head back to the capital and search for a less official point of entry. Just in case. That's my boy. 
Pray allow me to accompany thee on thy uh, reconnaissance. An arcane perspective may prove needful. First time squelcher! What's up, Rowan? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think I'd like to speak with more- <laughs> Wait, fuck, I missed it. Would you mind coming with me? Does she invite Alize somewhere? Let's lead the way? What did I miss? I think I'd like to speak with more of these ancients. Oh! Maybe they uh, know something that could cure Pepper's condition. Then you still and I will busy ourselves with further exploration. There is surely more intelligence to be had. So we part ways once more. This time, however, let us reconvene in front of the capital. Sounds good. Maybe someone needs to be sundered and share as one with the shard? Excuse me? Excuse me, there are children watching? Halt. Halt. Hi, Cassie, how are you? Also, hold on, Jay! Why are you apologizing for Emmett Squelch? What's wrong with us squelching about? You got a problem with squelching? Huh? I'm not taking this slander from a Lee Simp. Not this kind of talk in the polysexual district. Exactly! We support polyamory here! Okay? I simp for no one? Edgy. Edgy. Isn't Sunder another word for split in half? Yeah, I'm about to be- No. I'm not- I'm- No. That is where that sentence ends. The rest is a mystery. <laughs> Oh, sorry, are y'all waiting in line? Oh. That's a long line. Ah. Hurry up! Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, you're next. Go on. Ah, oh, tick tock, tick tock. Nothing! You No, you're not filling in the blanks. No blanks are being filled. Nothing is being filled. This is the RP experience I live for. <laughs> Finally. All right. My turn. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I waited so long for that. A visitor's writ? Yes, I can assist you. Full name, please. Peppermint. Please wait near the counter while I confirm your details. Okay. Waiting. 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 Oh, it's a long, uh, long wait. Peppermint, your application. Oh, your application is ready for collection. Oh! I'm cool. Fuck y'all. I'm cool. As your residency was approved by Emmett. My residency was approved by Emmett Squelch. Further forms of identification will not be required. Oh. Here are your application documents. Submit them at the Bureau of the Secretariat. Secretariat? And the clerk will issue you with the visitor's writ for the capital. Why is he approving my home? My my slumbering lair? I have many a question that I do not want to assert. <laughs> May I fill in thy blanks? Fill that void? You calling mom? I mean, it is kind of dry and dusty. I guess it is kind of an endless void right now. 
Maybe Emmett can pay for the FC's house. Do you think he would? <laughs> Call my pussy the Void Art because he's about to go on a raid. Oh my god. Come full circle from fucking a realm reborn, goddamn. Oh no. A yawning chasm. Which yearns to be toucheth. <laughs> oh man. Sewer wife incoming. No! Ah! What the? Bl Cubus. I can. I can attack you, but I will not. Because I would feel bad. Scott, thank you for the team with Reese. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the company of your bedroom. Just stay. The Elder Bussy and the Void OC. Creators, <laughs> creatures of old both. Wait a second. Why am I kind of into that? The Elder Bussy and the Void OC? They sound like two, like, like villains, you know? Like the evil vagina. And the evil butthole. Fusing together. Not fusing together, but like meeting in the middle, you know? I like it. It's poetic. Into a, clo a cloaca or a cloaca? No, not a fucking bird pussy. Wait! You said that birds shit and lay eggs from the same hole. Birds have bussies. Birds literally have bussies. I love that for them, but it's not really sanitary. Cloaca? Great, I'm so glad I know how to pronounce this word. I'm so glad I know how to pronounce the word for bird vagina, and I can now share it with everybody else. Thank you. Thank you, chat. We eat what we come from that? You mean we eat what Female ducks have fake bird vaginas? I know the, the male ducks have corkscrew cocks. But like, okay, so do vagina, do like, okay, do, I think they're called mallards or whatever? I don't know. But don't feed, like, if a male duck has like a corkscrew dick, does the female duck have like Like, is it, like, ribbed? Or, like... <laughs> do, like... <laughs> like <laughs> they have... <laughs> White cork vagina? Wait. Do they actually have spiraled cucamongas? When a male duck has sex with a lady duck, a giant pop sound is made and champagne sprays everywhere. Damn. Those poor farmers. What an event. Oh my god, another fucking line. <sighs> I guess I'll wait. Oh, I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry. Relax. <laughs> Anna, hurry up! We're waiting! <sighs> oh, is there someone else in line now? Ugh, I'm sorry, but it's taking forever. I know, I know. And look, there's more like there's more people waiting and idling. Oh my god, their service here is so bad. They would never treat me like this in Ishgard. 
At least they brought a book? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I fucking brought one, too. Oh, you're actually AFK? Bitch, I swear to- <laughs> Bitch! I swear to God! <laughs> she really said, can I get a- Well, we'll wait all fucking day then. fighting her butt look look at what you've done Anna look at what you've done you did this can a healer rescue this fool <laughs> oh the fucking audacity of some of these people latte you're making us wait this long for a PSL girl oh my gosh you just want a large fry I know I know I, I truly cannot believe this and now she's taking pictures this bitch all right your fucking turn go on all right lines moving <laughs> I'm moving up. They died. All right, my turn. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Visiting the capital, are we? Please take a seat. Your name will be called once your application has been processed. <sighs> All right. Where am I taking a seat? Oh, over there. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to walk through you. Who kissed me? Oh, Anna, you gave me a kiss? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I fucking do. God damn. Jay, I saw you looking at me. I saw you looking at me. bodies here oh no Anna resurrected well it's okay Nissan maybe we'll see you in the afterlife all right <laughs> let me actually sit here wait no I'm gonna sit here properly I'm gonna sit I'm gonna sit girl miss girl <laughs> Jen, thank you for the thousand videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh no, Miss Ma'am. Oh, I'm cracking again. May you what? Oh, sit beside me. Of course. Girl, that's how you decide to sit? You. You, I think, are from a time beyond ours. Have you followed in the wake of Emmet Salk? 
for alarm. I am simply a shade. Here, not here. I know only that my name is Hithlodeus? Hithlodeus? <clears throat> Hithlodeus? And that the city is a recreation, a phantom moment plucked from the well of history. Yeah, I can fucking say that, but nothing else. These others seem unaware of their pale existence. But I wonder if Emmett Selk's mind was distracted when it came to my reconstitution. A stray thought would have been enough. Hithlodeus will realize the truth, for example. We were close friends once, you see. <laughs> Yet in spite of my perception, I play the same role as all the rest. Bit part, meant to bring color and noise to this well-crafted stage. Too much scrutiny, and we shall burst like the fragile bubbles we are. <laughs> Thus I tell you again, my presence is not to concern you. I wish only to share your company whilst we wait. Doubt? Press X to doubt? But this is kind of sad kind of somber. I don't know. I like it though. If you've come this far, then you know of the catastrophe which awaits, awaits us on our morrow. The final days, what began as isolated incidents soon swelled into a world-spanning threat. The convocation of 14, well, it was 13 at the time, endeavored to create a will for our star. They would repair the fundamental laws of order and halt the spread of destruction. But creation on such a scale required an immense source of power. Of those of us who still lived, nearly half offered up their lives in the name of salvation. And from their sacrifice, Zodiac was born. Just as we had hoped, he reached forth and halted the march of oblivion. Yet, oh, how the star had suffered. So many species lost. The land was blighted, the waters poisoned, and even the wind had ceased to blow. Once more did our people give of themselves to Zodiac. Another half of our race sacrificed to cleanse the world. To ensure that trees and grasses and myriad tiny lives would sprout and grow and flourish. This is so fucking sad! The cycle of life had begun anew, and 
and we can reconsider the means by which we might protect it. So wait, if half of them, what, what was it? How, was it half of them gave up their lives and then another half, which is like three quarters? So many of them died! I mean, you know what? All relatable reminds me of like all the sacrifices we've made, right? But still, this is like sacrificing yourself to a god only to have oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no only to have Heidelin come in and fuck it all up oh my god no no there's no way there's no way I'm turning sides I'm not oh no oh oh e Oh no. Oh no 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 The convocation decided thus we would nurture our world until it was bursting with vitality. Then when the time was right, we would offer some portion of its living energy to Zodiard. In return, he would restore to us those brethren whose souls had fed his strength. And together, we would resume our role as stewards. Oh, oh, I don't want to know where this is going. I mean, I know where this is going, but... There were, however, those who disagreed with this plan. They argued that enough had been sacrificed to Zodiac. But this new world should belong to the lives newly born. <laughs> These dissidents, did I say that correctly, surrendered their life energies in the creation of Heidelin, an incarnation of their opposing belief. And for the first time in history, our people stood divided. Know you, then, how this conflict ended? Yeah. Hmm, I thought you might. Why with the flashbangs? What up, sewer man? I'm gonna get this man a cane. Emmett Selk has ever sorry. <clears throat> Emmett Selk has ever been a champion for the will of Zodiac. The original plan may have been set back by millennia, but he will have not abandoned his course. He will pay the price for our return by whatever means is necessary. And though he may carry himself with a certain glib ease, Emmett Selk is not a man to bear his burdens lightly. In fact, I imagine they have only grown heavier with each pa with every passing century. All right. No, I'm fucking over this. I'm so fucking over this. This just sounds like chat convincing me to fall for him. Na 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 na. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking sad. This is so sad. I just. It's like making me reflect like more on his like body language. You know, I. of right now is one of my favorite comfort lines um, from Howl's Moving Castle. Um, a heart is a heavy burden and I'm now 
I'm now connecting those dots and I'm I'm getting very sad now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Tis truly a terrible wait, what? You wanna talk about what you should have seen the line I was in? Did you take pics? <laughs> oh look, Emmett's on screen and Sire needed a drink. Strange. Alright! Tis truly a terrible weight he has chosen to carry. Oh, I guess that's it, too. Like, he's doing this because, like, he wants to, right? Or, like, he feels like he has to, right? Peppermint. I'm trying really hard not to, like, tear up. <laughs> it seems your turn has come. Pray do not let me keep you. Ugh. <sighs> Nice landing. <laughs> Can they see Ardvark? Ah, there was one last thing. You walk with another at your side, yes? definite form, just the faintest suggestion of a second soul. I doubt it visible to anyone but me. Otherwise, I assume only you can see and hear this ethereal companion? Oh my god, what the fuck? My theory from the beginning of the stream has come back, but in a new way, has... What? Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Your connection is hardly a coincidence. In our time, the two of you are- What do you- What the fuck do you mean in your time? The two of you were one. The color of your souls tells the tale. So- Ah! Okay, wait! Okay, wait! What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god! And so he does have to- To fuse himself with me to save me when I die! Oh my god! But that also means that there was another me! Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, what color is my soul? Is it purple or is it minty green? A hue that distinctive cannot be mistaken, no matter how thin the soul is spread. What? Ha! Huh, this is just the kind of fate I might expect for one such as she. Surely Emmett Selk has recognized the hint of her in you. What? Peppermint? Yes, hi, hello, sorry. Fare you well, my new old friend. May you find what it is you seek. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? They're go- oh!
You are not fucking dressed up as him right now. I sometimes, sometimes, Jay, sometimes, Jay, you make me so mad. Sometimes, sometimes you just, you just, you, you, you. <laughs> That's just cruel. That's just cruel. Yeah, thank you. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. I'll fuck him up too. Boom. I give hug though. Because I wouldn't have been able to do that to him any other way. So, and who the. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Get his ass. Get his ass. <laughs> All right. God, Anna! She, I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number- God, who the fuck are you ordering these for? Can you at least go wait on the side? Please? Oh, she gave them something. Oh, Alright. Well. My turn now. Hello. Your visitor's writ has requested. When you wish to gain admittance to the capital, simply present the document to the attendant within. <sighs> I'm... I'm feeling so many things right now. And I... I, f I can feel tears swelling behi behind my eyes because this is so, like... Solemn. This is so. This is so sad. And it feels like. It feels very relatable. Not to me, but to like the Warrior of Light. Like the Warrior of Light's journey and like those that we've met, you know? Like, I don't know. There's just something about it where I'm just like. Melancholy. It's beautiful. It's heartbreaking. You know? Um, by the way, what the fuck's going on in my chat? What's going on here? Did I miss something? Is someone trying to be a smart ass? Yeah? Let's not do that. Unless you want to get banned. Alrighty, where am I going? Oh, I'll just like TP. To the etherite then. Just the win? That's what I thought. FC, I am so sorry. Oh, I only have fleet footed left. Here y'all go. If anyone um in the in the FC can enable something else, one of the either the cheaper teleports or um the XP, that'd be very uh that'd be uh, very handy dandy for the community members. My tears are squelching. Can someone ban Nissan? This is why I was sweeping over your body. This is what you deserve. <laughs> All right, Sam Bussy. Finally, you were gone so long, I was on the verge of mounting a rescue party. How fared you in your bureaucratic ventures? I see my instincts were correct. And a good thing too. Rianje and I wait our chances of breaking into the capital, and an official entrance is by far the most attract the more attractive option. The capital boasteth not a single armed sentry. It would seem that in their time they did not deem it needful to post guards. The windows and doors, however, appear heavily warded. Though mightily did we strive, with strength mundane and magical, we failed to budge them even a fraction of one elm. Mayhap was simply the case that Emmett and Selk's recreation did not extend to their usual function. 
We didn't try everything, of course, but we thought it best to conserve our time and energy for more pressing matters. Speaking of which, sorry, speaking of which, Rhea and I tried asking about a cure for you. The problem is, these ancients didn't exist beyond Amarats today. They will happily tell their own tales, but whenever we attempt to explain our situation, the conversation quickly became muddled. What? What of you, Pepper? Was aught worthy of interest said during your efforts to obtain a writ? <sighs> Do I tell them? What was her name again? Hithlodeus? A great sacrifice of life in exchange for their brethren's resurrection. And you say all the Asian scheming has been leading to this? All this time. But if they still mean to enact this plan, then things won't end with the rejoining. I I thought we knew their intentions in full. Restore the world to its former glo glory, and in turn empower Zodiac to reclaim his throne as the will of the star. If that was merely a step along the way, I hesitate to put into the words, but we have to assume that following the final rejoining, the Asians mean to draw on the lives of the Source to make their sacrifice to Zodiac. Yeah, that does seem the most likely scenario. Mayhap those who ally with the Asians would be spared that fate. What value is there in surviving when all our history, all our struggles, will be erased? I cannot conscience such an act. Of course not, and that's not- that's to say not of what Emmett Selk plans for the Exarch's power. Do we stand by and let him threaten our future as well as our past? We need to find him, Pepper. And when we do... Find him before he finds us? <laughs> Make your mark. Change the course of history in a way- Make my mark on him?! Hold on. Change the course of history in a way that's felt by those who came before, and those who came after, by everyone you've ever met. Everyone? Change things so that even my other self, dying somewhere in that future calamity- Alisa, you can't say those things to me! can't say those things to me. Dying somewhere in that future calamity will smile and say, I knew you would win. Girl. <sighs> Is fighting M itself the only way? We create an entire city. It will take everything we have to defeat him, if we even can. And if you push that hard in your current state, the light will break free. The decision to press on lies with you, just as it lies with each and every one of us. <sighs> huh. That counts, chat. We're at 26. Oh, man. So far, it's been Alize, Orshifon, Edmont, Gubu, I believe, was the name of the kobold, or Gugu, or Bubu, or whatever. Wait, Alize, Orshifon, Edmont, Gubu, and Emmet. Gabu, that's it, Gabu. <laughs> boo boo. Am I boo boo? Am I boo boo? Go boo boo. <laughs> I boo boo now. <laughs> what the? Bu oh! 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 <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> oh, where's my ears? Oh, we made it. We made. Oh shit! Oh my god! We made it! We made it! We made it! Okay. Alright. <laughs> I got so excited and nearly closed the game, girl. 
<sighs> All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. It's time. All right. I don't know what to expect. Jay told me that there is a dungeon and a trial left for me to do. And so I can only assume they're going to be here. Um... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. 7,500 gil! Woo! All right, chat. Do you have your water? Did you pee? I know there's gonna be a moment. There's definitely gonna be like a several cutscenes moment. I understand that. But are we all ready? That picture though, I know. I wish I could like make this bigger. Oh, I can. Are you fucking kidding me? Hell yeah. Can I like put these over here? No, that covers there. I'll, I'll just leave them like right here. Oh, I did. I literally did not know I could increase the size of these. This is so much better. That way, chat can like see them properly too. Echo, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Uh, are my squelchers ready? Okay, Alize appears to have made her decision. Do you remember that talk we had atop the tower in Morsuk? I'm still of the same mind now as I was then. I don't abandon you. You don't- I barely even started the fucking quest. I'm not crying, I'm just like... <sighs> Alize, this game has a really, really, really corny, cliche, predictable, like, pattern of foreshadowing! Don't fucking say that to me! I don't abandon you, you don't abandon me, and together we make a difference in this fight. There's always hope if we look for it. I saw it again and again as you tore those veils of light from the sky. If you keep taking that next step forward, this chance will find a way to save you. So no matter how long it takes or how much it hurts, you can count on me to keep on walking. Look, before I even fucking commission artwork of like Pepper and Orshi and Pepper and Istola, I'm getting fucking art of Pepper and Alize knocked out under a tree or something. Like... He's... He's babies. Oh. Oh god, hello. <laughs> She's the only one gone. Reen doesn't really look too happy. I kind of want to speak with her. Reen appears to be brooding over her choices, her faintly trembling hands betraying her mounting trepidation. Alright, Elfie. Bothry spoke of the disaster we would bring upon our own heads ceaseless conflict. Are they gonna make me talk to everybody one-on-one? -on -one? Imagine how he would sneer to see what's become of the first, not to mention your perilous predicament. And yet, who can define the fire deeds? The fire your deeds have ignited in people's hearts. You achieved what my logic and ideals never could. Uniting dis disparate? Disparate? Peoples. Disparate, I believe. Peoples under the banner of hope and common purpose. Without you, that giant Talos would never have raised its head. I have borne witness to many such miracles at your side, and would do so again. This is but- <sighs> This is but another obstacle in the road. So come, let us travel it. Drag me through wonder and danger, as you are wont to do, and I shall endeavor not to slow you down. They're gonna fucking make me talk to everybody one-on-one. -on -one. I can't do this. As well thou knowest, if we are to usher Emmet Selk unto his rest, we must needs bind his Assian soul and then shatter it with overwhelming force. The former task requireth orosite, and such have I prepared. Oh, oh, to trap him. <gasps> oh my God, right, 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 because they need to trap him in the thingy. That's the only way to capture an Asian soul, right? We learned that in a Realm Reborn, right? Was it a Realm Reborn? Post a Realm Reborn? Somewhere, very early on, months ago, a year ago. <laughs> The former task requireth orosite, and such have I prepared. Upon the exarch's asking, no less, that twas ever mine intent to provide said boon. 
The future once our noble friend doth hail is a world fallen to Asian artifice, and he would see such grim history repeated. And he would not see such grim history repeated. In a sense, Emmet Selk's destruction will be the culmination of the Exarch's efforts, a reward for all he hath endured these many years. Yet even as thou stridest into the jaws of peril, forget not but that his fondest wish, and that of many others besides, is to see thee survive into unto the morrow. morrow. Tis in pursuit of that happiness of outcomes that I do pledge to remain at thy side. Who's next? Our time in the first has been a never-ending succession of trials as arduous as our path in the source ever was. Yet through all our oh my god. They're talking to me like I'm about to fucking die. And I mean, I, I guess that's the like right assumption. Because I might not make it. Yet through all our journeys together, through that deep and foreboding wood, you have helped me to stay true to my convictions. Thus would I return the favor. Do as your heart decrees, without hesitation or regret. And that is all I will say on the matter. Well, this has put everyone in a solemn mood, hasn't it? Honestly, we're not even sure this will be the end of it. But I suppose we should speak our minds when we have the opportunity. You you taught me that much in Amarang. So forgive me this moment of sentiment. Thancred! You cannot be the reason I shed tears right now. I refuse to let Thancrissy be the reason I shed a fucking tear right now. It was meant to be Alize, not him! So forgive me this moment of sentiment, Pepper, by dragging me into this sorry mess you've you've given you've given me the chance to think and act as I should have, for Reen's sake. Words cannot express how much this has changed my life, or how grateful I am for your support. So I shall express my so I shall express my gratitude through action instead. No matter where you decide to go, I will be there, guarding your back. Thanks, bestie. Are you gonna scold me? When Minfilia entrusted me with her power, she warned me that no matter how strong you become, you can still fall victim to despair. You can still feel powerless. And she was right. After you collapsed on Mount Golg, my hands wouldn't stop shaking. If I made a mistake, if I failed to bind the light within you, I was terrified you would die. Even now, you could be moments from turning, and I wouldn't know how to save you. You, Thancred, the others, you've all been there when I needed help. Minfilia surrendered her life to me. Her legacy. Foreshadowing for Aardvark? I should be ready to do the same for you. And I want to, I do. But I just... I'm not good enough. She told me to follow your example. And I've tried. I've really tried. Oh, baby! Then you shouldn't hang your head. I shouldn't. Yeah, because you tried, and that's more than most people can say. Trying is courageous. Fate can be cruel, but a sp Oh, 
mushy P-Y! Oh, why would you green light that? That's not fair! This is the second time, this is the second time that Pepper has said this to another, like, young person. It was during the, like, the anniversary event, I think, and now to read, I can't do it. I didn't even, I didn't even get to see what the other, what the other <laughs> option was. <laughs> I didn't even mean to click it. I Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not okay, but I will be because it's so Blizzard's a hero! I can't even see my monitor. <laughs> I can't see. Oh. My tears keep dripping down my, my cheek, like, dramatically. And honestly, I'm kind of having a cinematic moment. Oh. I just need like, I just need a moment because I'm not going to be able to read. <sighs> really? Like in the last quest, you start off with Alize making me like tear up a little bit and then Thancred pushing it. And then this. I miss my boy so much! <sighs> well, you know what? At least if Pepper dies, they can reunite. You know what? not helping. This music is making me feel so much worse. Oh, okay. I need to just, I need to push. I need to keep going because otherwise I'm not going to be able to stop crying. Orshifa is like the one thing in the longest while that has been able to make me cry on spot. Like I've had days, I've had days where like I'll be minding my business and then I just think about him and then I burst into tears and I have to like sit on the floor because I just turned into like a sobbing mess. I don't understand why. Oh god, it's uh, now I'm starting to sound like Tariel <laughs> in the Battle of the Five Armies. Why does it hurt so much? Because it was real. Oh. Uh. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep my boy with me for a little bit. Worst line in those movies? No, that was such a good line. Are you fucking kidding me? That was character growth for Thranduil. Wasn't there like a TV show or 
Oh, oh, it was like, it was, oh, oh, it was like Bly Manor or like Haunting of Hill House or whatever, right? Oh, there was something that I was watching like years ago about grief and I think it, oh no, no, not WandaVision. No, 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 no. There was, a, it, I think it was Bly Manor at the very end. That too, but no, no, no. It was, um... Oh, I don't want to spoil the ending of Bly Manor. But both of them made me sob. And I, I think... No! I think it wasn't Bly Manor. I think it was Haunting of Hill House when the sister comes back. Like, it's, it's the funeral, it's the funeral scene, and the sister is, like, talking to everybody, I think. I think it was that one. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Okay. When they all say goodbye to her? Yeah, I, th I think it's that scene. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, it is that scene because then like the sister moves on and like they 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 all move on with their lives. Yeah Okay 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 Chad are we ready? Let me update the cry counter I think we're at 27. I don't know if thank or it counts because I didn't really cry Okay 28? Okay, 28. Put the motherfucker to 30? No. Do- learn your math. It would be 29, not 30. <sighs> he prepped you for reen. Okay. I'm not sure I- <sighs> Actually, never mind. I think I'll understand better if I try it for myself. Shout out to a somewhat waterproof makeup. No, nothing will come of brooding here in self-pity. I've made my decision, Pepper. I'm going with you. Hello? <laughs> animation went through okay anyway <laughs> all right <laughs> okay where do i go um where do i go oh i see are y'all coming with me yeah oh are we are we are <laughs> are we doing what we did in heaven's ward are we roleplay walking again? That was like right after I fought Nidhogg, right? Uh, I remember that because I accidentally started to walk and everyone was like, Alright, I'm walking with you. Okay. I mean, I'll fucking do it. I don't care. Let's go! Where are we going? This way. Fuck it, we ball. Oh shit, let's go. <laughs> Here, let me actually do it properly. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Madeline! Well... That's gonna be a long walk, that's fine. I don't mind. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> I forgot that third- <gasps> May? Anya? Is that you? In the back? I don't know who that is, I can't tell. It's I'm not zooming in. not with us what oh do, did y'all want me walking here where did y'all wait no i'm not fucking letting charles get ahead of me wait no move bitch 
Move. Get the fuck out of here. This is my moment, bitch. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is it here? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, so I go somewhere here. Oh, I could just go, oh my God, I just go inside. Oh my God, it's so glorious. Okay. All right, here's the capital attendant. Welcome to the capital. All visitors must present an official writ of permission before admittance will be granted. Here you go. Your documents appear to be in order. You may proceed into the capital, but any guests you may choose to bring with you must remain in your vicinity at all times. Okay. This really is unacceptable. I gave you very specific instructions. Bro, now is not the fucking time. Now is not the- Look at me. Look at the state that I am in. Okay? I know that I came here to meet you, but the negging has got to go down just a little bit. Let, you're at 100. Let's bring it at least to 30. Thank you. Carry on. Emmett Selk. My invitation was for an abomination, ripe with the power to bring about the world's annihilation. Not this half-broken... thing. Whatever am I to do with you? Do not talk to me like that! And I see you insist on keeping the same familiar company. Are you so lost without them? What are you gonna do to them? It is not she who is lost without the familiar. Ooh. Not content with remaking an entire city, you aim to fill it with the reconstituted <laughs> souls of the dead. I fucking love Stola so much. I may have gotten a little carried away in my attention to detail, added a few unnecessary flourishes. Well, there's no point trying to hide it. Yes. Once the rejoining of worlds is complete, Zodiac will regain his full strength and shatter his prison. Then we shall offer up the source's remaining inhabitants in sacrifice, that we might resurrect our brethren who died to bring Zodiac into existence. Yeah, your bestie already told me all that, bud. But what was it that you came here to do exactly? Um, change your mind? Ooh, we came here to stop you. We came here for the Exarch. Oh, I, I forgot about him. Oh my God. Oh, right. He's got my puppy boy, Mr. Grahatia. Oh shit, fuck. Um. My bad. My bad! <laughs> look, I- Look, listen, 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 I did- Look, listen. Listen, I was caught up with my emotions. Thank you very much. All right, can- You know? I was having a moment. Like a lost puppy forgotten to cast aside. No, 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 listen. Um, I'm gonna say we came here for the Exarch. Actually, no, I want the drama. We came here to stop you, bitch. Did you now? One last do or die attempt to foil my plans before your mind dissolves into madness? How very, very heroic of you. In every single age, there is always someone who wants to stand up to the evil Asians. 
always, always the me. same arrogance, the same insistence that the world belongs to them, as if theirs were the only rightful claim, theirs the only existence worthy of preservation. Baby doll, I think you're projecting a bit. Even now, after everything, you refuse to see reason. You think it unfair that you are subject to suffering? That your lives will be sacrificed for the ancients? Look at me! I have lived a thousand, thousand of your lives. I have broken bread with you. Fought with you, grown ill, grown old, sired children, and yes, welcomed death's sweet embrace. Bro, I get it. You're traumatized. Get a therapist. For eons have I measured your worth and found you wanting. Too weak and feeble-minded to serve as stewards of any star. Have your recent spats with Vorthri and his Sin Eaters taught you nothing? Have you not learned that your ignorance and frailty beget only endless misery? Once again, you're projecting! How long do you mean to perpetuate this farce? How much more must I endure your bumbling interference? Why do you have to say bumbling, man? Now I'm giggling. <laughs> Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I have, you would reach the same conclusion. That must hurt Alfie and Alize because of Louis Swa. Ooh. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. Ugh. I will bring back our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. The world belongs to us and us alone. He really reminds me of Solus. I'm like, my heart is like breaking. He's so sad. Homeboy needs a therapist. And you're just gonna walk away? No, you're gonna snap. No, Alfie's gonna snap. Emmett Selk! He's got a little bow on his butt. <laughs> Sorry. We understand, truly, but it makes no difference. The ones you love are in the past, while ours are here in the present. One day, we too will be ashes and dust, but not today. Our time is not yet finished. We share your conviction, and that is why we will not abandon our course. That's my son. That's my fucking son. I'm so scared on what's about- You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Bro. Oh. Then come. Earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star. I do not want to know what's behind those doors. I'm about to find out, I guess. What the fuck? Behold. The coming oblivion. It was the end of our era and the beginning of our great work. A fitting backdrop for your final judgment. Ah. 
I shall wait within. But do not spend too much time on your preparations. There's no telling how much longer the guest of honor will last. The guest of honor? Nah, he's not gonna- Daenerys? Is that you? Girl. Alright. Alright, Danny. Cool. You got dragons back there too? Oh my god. Emerald now- Oh, is this the dungeon? All right. Okay. Okay, so I know... <laughs> hmm, who am I gonna choose to join me? Okay, so this is a dungeon, so I'm gonna... Okay, so I have my little group, so let's see who I can invite. I know Jay really wanted to join me on the, the last uh, foot of this. Oh, let me change that. Good lord. You know what? I'll invite Jen as well. Who else? Who's gonna be my final pick? Is Gein here? Vince is here. You know what? I'll invite Vince. And I think that's it. Is he AFK? No, he's not. Perfect. And so that's it. This is a dungeon, right? Cool. All right, all right, friends. I will see y'all for the uh, for the trial. Let's get into this fucking dungeon. All right. Wait. Did Jay not accept? Bastard. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> all right. Is Jay healing then? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, it feels really weird going into a dungeon and not having my like tank armor. Ooh. All right. I'm ready though. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no, bitch. This is so fucking sad. Nor. Welcome to the final days of Amaranth. Bro! What the fuck? No, you stay with me. Oh! Oh god! Um the fabric of our star began to fray, oh, good God. and the unchecked energies of creation begat malformed beasts. Can I pull? No, I can't. Wait, hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I don't have my fucking grit on. I'm so. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. No one saw that. I know what I'm doing. Oh, God! 
Okay. Leaving not in their wake, but blood and ash. Oh no. Just as prayer gives rise to bridles, our dread made manifest our deepest fears. The first beast? Oh my god, fucking look at it! <gasps> Alright. Very true. Very true. That's what she gets for not turning on tank sense earlier again. All right, listen, Jen. Listen, I'm going through it right now. Eat my ass. Oh wait. Speaking of eating. All right. I'm coming! I'm coming! 
<laughs> I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way! I'm on my way, I'm on my way! Alright, ready? I'm not waiting for y'all, let's go. Oh, I gotta turn around, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. to go the corner yeah okay oh, I can't even reach him I wish I was by a different rock I guess it's a lot of time 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 no okay I'm just gonna stay back here oh, I wish I went to a different one I could have still been fighting him I wish I went to someone that was over there oh hello game okay so I don't I don't know how to dodge this oh do I oh there's a literal I thought it was the whole fucking thing. Oh, okay. Oh, ah! oh my god, I'm fucking up. Woo! It's done. <laughs> All right. Did the dramatic like text? What did it say? It would not prove something something to be the last. Oh my! Ah! Oh my God! Hey, it's those little guys. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what I've caused. I'm so sorry for what I've caused. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I'm against the wall. <laughs> okay, wait, that's better. Buckled. 
The cities burned. The waters ran red with blood. Is that... Zodiac? Eidolon? I don't... I don't, I don't- I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'll find out eventually, I guess. Wait. Oh shit. Ow, guys. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There is- Okay, I think I got it. There was something in my eye. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am literally so sorry. My ears are blowing up right now. Okay, we're fine, we're chilling. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. Give me one second. I can't even see it. But like, I can feel it? Oh, I found it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there was a big, there was a big white Waldo fluff on my eyeball. Okay, we're good now. Oh, are we just looking at the, oh, oh. This is, this is, this is fucking sad. But this is a great, this is a great shot. This is a great shot. I'm just gonna real quick, no, you fuck. Whatever, you're not in it. Too late. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Jay got a shot. <laughs> I didn't know Jay was in this game. Oh my god, you guys think this has a kola kola kola? Do you think this thing has a duck pussy? Wow, bear witness to the first doom, endure the first doom, bear witness to the second doom, endure the second doom. That's what this is called? Oh my god! I'm like forgetting all of my abilities because I'm just overstimulated.
Oh, you're back. Yet this is far from the worst of it. Come, and I will show you. Which way do we go? Oh, oh, we go through this. It's a portal. Okay. Woo! Just a little further. Fucked its claw. Waka waka waka. Whoa! And you will Whoa! see the end of a world. What the fuck? Terminus Twitcher? Yo, it's me! Yo, they got streamers in this game! Hello? What the fuck are you? I don't know, like, how comfy I am doing these pulls, but, like, I have no fear. Mistakes, maybe, but not fear. Fading. We saw we had to weave its laws anew. <gasps> oh, so this is a third doom. And our goal loomed a final misbegotten fiend. My God, look at this. Chthonic Riddle? Therian? Therian? The Ryan? Therian? That oh god, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. This is the third doom. All right, okay. Is it a wall? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my 
my god! Oh, there are little platformy guys here! Oh, okay. Can I fall off the edge? Oh, probably. Comfortably easy. I'm very scared to see what the trial is. Where is Emmett? Oh, that was a compliment, Jay. Um, if you tell me that Emmett is the boss, I'm just gonna laugh. Oh, I already have that. Okay, pass. Oh. Are you gonna jump? Bye, bestie! Oh, he's not jumping. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was really intense. That was really dramatic. I- that was a great dungeon. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. I mean, who the fuck else would it be? Well, well, you prevailed. Oh, he's so much louder now. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Nevertheless. <laughs> oh. And I'm the only one still standing. Your performance was Definitely. underwhelming, and I remain unconvinced of your worthiness. I'm sorry, do you want me to impress oh, you? Oh, you tower over your misbegotten ilk, no doubt. But should I bring my full strength to bear, well, 
you would be as leaves in the wind. Is that a promise? Wait, are they dead? No. I'm not gonna think the about it. The gulf between us is a reflection of it. the disparity it's between so the world as it was and what it has become. Please, 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 oh. Elise, and what Our are you doing? may not live up to your lofty standards, girl. You but cannot take him down alone. Our oh, homes, full of life and love and hope, girl. Go pretend to be dead, and we won't stand by and let you destroy them. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! <gasps> Oh, my baby! Alize! You are a mistake. My mom said the same For thing. For we who have known perfection, the shattered source and these shards are ghastly mockeries gonna of the Gonna have to try a little world. harder, bro. That one's not gonna get to me. The ephemeral lives you exalt are pale imitations utterly devoid of meaning. Jesus, bro. This fucking guy. Oh, my baby, is she okay? Belittle us all you like, but we will rise again and again and give the lie to your insults through word and deed. We define our worth, not the circumstances of our creation. Ha, more prattle. Oh my! No one, nothing. Once That's I have how you get me to heritage, stand up. My uh -uh. first act will be to expunge oh your God, stain babies. from history's weave. My babies. Oh, I'm gonna fucking wring his neck. My world will have no need for heroes. Oh, those are my babies. Those are my babies. Oh, she needs some milk. Am Still I... fighting the Am good I fight. Am I gonna turn into a light warden and fuck him up? Oh, that'd be sick, but no, I doubt it. Oh! Yes! Use the shield barrier! <laughs> sorry. It is true that all we hold dear <laughs> is fated to fade away. But there so is quick. no reason for us to forsake it. To take what steps we may, and thus mark the road for those who would follow. To strive for the best of all futures. Be this not also thy purpose? Oh! <gasps> Do not presume to speak of my future. Why isn't he pew pewing me? And you? Why waste your final moments in futile defiance? Weary wanderer, you've no fight left to fight, no life left to live. Oh, Pepper's gonna be angry. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, is it happening? Is it happening? Oh my god, am I gonna do it? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. You see, the light will not be denied. Surrender to your fate and let the transformation take you. 
Do I have the power of love, God, and, and anime fury. on my side? Devour the vermin infesting the Am land, I gonna which is channel it? Ours. Am I gonna finally, like, just become super strong? What? Thank Christ! Now, Reed! Now! <sighs> Damn! <laughs> okay, thank Chris! Oh. Fight it. You have to hold on. Oh. Well. Well. Oh. 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 What? What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, is it okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. If you had the strength to take another step, could you do it? Could you save our worlds? Ha! <laughs> What, all by myself? Okay, I can't, I can't tell if that's snarky or not. Oh my god. I, I can't tell if that's her trying to be snarky or if that's like a sincere, earnest reply. Um, I'm gonna go with that one though. Yes, yes, good. Oh my god. <sighs> Okay, what's gonna happen here? Take it. We fight as one. Hardvark! Was I right? Was I right? Oh my god, is it happening? Is it happening? No! This world is not yours to end. This is our future. Our story. <laughs> okay, that was a little uncomfy. No, it can't be. Trick of the light. You are a broken husk, nothing more. Yeah, How can you hope to stand husks. against me alone? I'm not alone. Oh, but I'm not alone. We stand together. <laughs> <gasps> Where did he come from? Do... I'm surprised you can stand at all. I could not oh well leave God. matters half finished. Let expanse contract. Oh my Eon God. become instant. Fucked up. What happened to him? Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call. Summoning. Power of Damn the tower. You. Aardvark's fire. Damn you all! What is happening? Is it just the power of the tower? What is that? I challenge you. Fucking Ash Ketchum in here. Oh. <sighs> Very well. Let oh, us proceed to your twice. final judgment. Oh. The victor shall write the tale. 
and the vanquished become its villain. But come, I am going to flick that let us cast aside titles and dingle on his fucking forehead and reveal our true faces to one another. Oh my god, so he's the boss fight? Uh oh. What is going on? Oh. I am Hades. <laughs> he who shall awaken our brethren from their dark slumber. My hair is stuck in my mic. Oh my god. Oh. chat that was fucking epic i don't know what to feel right now i hope my babies are okay oh hey todd oh ponto when did you get here This shit is so fucking epic. I I am at a loss for words. What is Emmett seeing? Who am who am I? Who is she? You know I said like, oh the crystal like the crystal ex exarch, like why does he look like that? Blah blah blah. But like For obvious reasons, he got beat the fuck up. All right, the whole gang's here. All right, chat. Are we ready? We ready? Is it time? Are we doing it? The trick where they can see the cutscenes in the trial waiting room? Such type, I know. Oh, Ray is joining? Hell yeah. There we go. All right, now it's a fucking party. All right, are we ready? Oh man. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm absolutely gassed as we should be. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm assuming Vince is ready, but I'm just gonna wait anyways. All right, let's go. All right, home stretch, baby. Let's do this. Jay, you didn't give it back? Jay. Come on, I need my moment. Jay. Thank you. What a guy. What a, what a fella. What a fella. He had one job, and as always, he fumbles. Yo, my makeup is holding up so well. Come through, sponsor me, bitches. Oh wait, right, okay. Show me your vaunted strength, and I shall expose the lie of your fragmented existence. <laughs> Yo, what that fist do though? Oh. 
My God. I okay. I was just thinking like my friends are gonna summon on those. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Do I want to be on? I don't know. Oh, okay. The the non poke side. Double, double. You are wood. I fucked up my bow. from my party, I guess? Like, okay. Oh, oh, I see, I see, they have to, okay. They shoot me and I have to make sure that my party is not like in the line of sight? Hello? Wait, what? Like I'm stuck, oh, there we go. Wide the ever hungering void, my vagina, you mean? Wait! Oh, I'm coming here. I am stifled by this vessel of flesh. Oh, oh, what the fuck is he doing? bear every hope, every dream, every pr- oh. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god! Can I not 
target him yet? I guess not. His health bar has to be fun. Sorry, I keep running in circles. It's a tick thing. I can't. Bro, shut the fuck up. Let me fight you. Thank you. Oh, the sound effects? Oh my god. Okay, why is everyone moving to the side? Oh, okay, that's why everyone's moving to the side. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm coming this way. Okay, everyone's moving this way again. Is it another... Yeah. Huh? Okay. I am the of the floor. Ooh, ooh, what's in your response? Oh, god damn. Ah! Out looking at my hot bar. What is this? Oh my god, his arms, the mask! This is the Astian mask, right? I have doom on me. Oh no. Wait. Okay, it's off. Okay. What if I just like really quickly looked at my abilities? Just like super quickly. I know it was an upgrade. Yeah. Oh, because it's fucking- <laughs> This is level 86, right? This is a level 80 dungeon or trial. Fuck! Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not clueless. Okay. okay. Not level 90. Oh, no! This is not how I wanted you to have me chained up! Oh, shit. Champions grows faint. Oh fuck me. Okay. Okay. Uh. Hey! Does the world was not quite free? No. Damn you! Damn your wretched blessing! No damage to us. It wasn't me that wasn't doing any damage. Okay. You, you I was so confused there.
thank God. I was gonna say, if it goes... That would have been the fucking biggest buzzkill. <laughs> I guess now would be the right time for that. headset basically it sounded like he was in my fucking head all right are y'all ready are y'all ready is it time is it time for whatever else awaits me yeah all right well <laughs> bye friends okay oh Oh my god, I'm so scared. Or spawn cover, baby. Fuck. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oosh! If that fizzles away... Oh. What's up, boo? You look like you might... have been impaled. Need some stitching? Oh no, he's hot. Oh no, he's hot. It's a Remember. turtleneck. Oh. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. What a sad fucking character. What a sad... Sad character. It's over. Emmett Selk is no more. Rip. More importantly, <laughs> All right, how do Bozo. you fare? I think I'm okay. What dost thou see? Am I still a big blinding orb of light? Ether. <gasps> it is. It is as it used to be. Oh my god. Ardvark did that, right? As a disciple of Zodiac, the Asian was the darkness to your light. I can but assume that when you set your strength against his. The light within you was spent. No, it's more than that. Under the strain of that incredible flood of ether, your soul had begun to break apart, yet now it seems somehow restored. I tried to help you before the battle, but Emmett Selk stopped me. So, how did you... exactly what did you... Can you tell us what happened? My bestie! Aardvark! Bro! Oh no, it's fizzling away! Oh no! Mm, oh, that hurts! I had help from a hero- Yeah, I'm, no, I'm gonna fucking talk about him! I had help from a hero of this world. I see. <gasps> oh, he looks so raggedy. <laughs> Where to start? I believe I owe you all an apology. Don't and look at me. You, most especially. Don't do that fourth wall break. I'm already crying. Can I just give him a hug? Um, let's get out of here first. I'm tired. Tis good to see you awake, Grahatia. 
He needs to know that I I remember him still, and it wasn't just a fluke after Vothri. <laughs> well, it is good to be awake. Sankrit said, pat, pat. There, there. Oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? You know, I was sitting here thinking, oh, my eyelashes held up. Man, now I gotta wash them. Man. I gotta watch the rest of this damn cutscene like this! Well... So, those mad souls dove straight into the ocean over there, did they? Uh, all, all I could see from here was the whale, Master Chai. T'was surely Alphno and those friends of his. They did something heroic, mark my words. You need only look up there for proof of that. As you say, my love. They're sure to be back any moment. I only just noticed that any moment. The, 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 the night and everything has returned. Oh, it only just dawned on me. <laughs> They are coming back, aren't they? I couldn't bear the thought of... <laughs> Me too, bestie! Me too. There, there, dear. Everything will be all right. There! There! Look! Over there! Over the beach! Is that me? Is it me? Oh, it's me. Can someone get me a towel? I'm a little wet. Are we all just washing up on shore? Is that is that what's going on here? There. I have a name. It's not Ho. Greetings. Ho. You all right? Welcome back. Art. Where are they? Where is the- are they co Oh, we were under- I still don't understand how any of that worked, but we were underwater and then we were in the sky, but I guess it was just like a vision- I don't know. I didn't think you'd be <laughs> swimming the whole way back. You're good, kid. You're all right. Heavens. Heavens. Take me. Moon. Me. You too, right, buddy? Oh, hells. Wait! Where's Uriante? Oh, he couldn't swim. <sighs> he must have fallen behind. He was a bad swimmer, right? But shouldn't we look for him? Oh, my God. Are we... He'll wash up sooner or later. Girl! For the love of Alphano! Me. That's how I feel right now. That's literally how I feel. Oh. Welcome back, dear ones! What's up? And thus did salvation come to the first. The lamps of Amarot will fade along with Emmet Selk's enchantments, and the depths shall be as once they were. I do a slow clap. Mount Gulg will one day fall, and the Talos below 
Yield to wind and rain. Eyes on lower left corner? What does that mean? Did I miss something? This tale, too, will fade with time, passing into legend as the world heals and moves on. Alize <laughs> in the fucking background. <laughs> Ether obeys the cycle, as death and decay gives way to new life. So too do the memories we share inspire others to rise to greatness. For we who walk before may lead those who walk after. Your road goes ever on, as does your story, as does your legacy. I thought my crying was over. Such is the hero's lot, to touch the lives of countless others. Excuse me? You're the warrior of darkness, aren't you? Where are you from, really? And how did you get to be so strong? Did she say shh? No shot, they toss a mini aardvark in my face at the fucking end. Okay, so what's my cry count chat? <laughs> 32? 32? Okay. I did it! I did it! I finished it! That was really good! I don't know what to do now! I have to deal with this! Can I skip it? Or do y'all want me to play it? <laughs> oh, that was so good. That was so sad. Thank you for the 1500. Safe to skip? Okay. y'all all still being in the party with me. <laughs> oh. 
I am emotionally spent. These last three streams have been bonkers. Did I do the level 80 Dark Knight quest? I don't think so because I think I believe I had to complete Shadowbringers first, right? So no, that's next. And I'm scared. Um, a lot of you are new, so I'll quickly give you a recap. But to anyone who has to go to bed, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I'm... I, I, I don't know what to say, but... Thank you for being on that little journey with me. I hope you sleep well, and I hope you can catch the rest of my shenanigans. I will not be diving into Endwalker immediately. I'm going to take my time to enjoy the side quests. I don't want to burn out of the game. I need to, you know, I need to process everything that I just went through. So hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll start tiptoeing towards Endwalker. Um... Damn. That got me. Yeah, no, I know. I have a lot of... I have a lot of content, but, like, I'm gonna really stretch it out. Ugh. Yeah. Um. Made me cry? Still not the same as Heaven's Word, but they're two different things. Like... The emotions I felt through this was just so much like, I don't know. I feel like the crying that's coming from Shadowbringers has been like almost joyous. Yeah, it's like two different types of sadness. Like Heaven's Word broke my heart. It shattered me. Like that fucking trial. But Shadowbringer is it it's like a good feeling. What do you think of Emma now? No. Look, the Emma Tussie? The Emmet Squelch? I shadowed like a shield? Exactly, that too. Um His character is very sad. His character is very, very, very sad. And, I mean, I hope he can rest peacefully. Like, I don't know. I, I haven't been able to, like, process my thoughts on Emmett. Um, or Hades, I guess. Um, but no, he's a very, very, very sad character. But I understand where he's coming from entirely. He's one of those villains, like, he reminds me so much of Solus, where it's like, I understand where you're coming from, and you have so much trauma and baggage, and you're carrying it all alone. You know, like, that kind of thing. And so it's like, I feel for him. But I am standing strong. I am a child of God. If he took a shower, maybe got a cane, maybe had white hair, maybe was a little bit nicer to me, or like 5%. Maybe if he was a little taller, perhaps the cane would help with that. Maybe I'd like him. But for now, I am holding my ground. <laughs> I am holding my ground. <laughs> you told me to send you that Emmett body pillow? Listen. <sighs> well, before I speak to him, can I just like, am I able to just like really quickly do something that I have been wanting to do forever that I now canonically can do? really quickly give me give me a couple seconds chat just i need just a moment i need just a moment of my own time real quick i got i got to do something really quickly i've been waiting 7 hours to do this at least hoping i would be able to do it <laughs> give me give me one second 
I just gotta speak to the manager of suites real quick. You know, I just wanna make sure that, you know... I have to go back to the source! I have to go back to the source! Is there no esthetician or what? Oh my... Well, I ruined my own drama. But that's fine. I am going to the- I should have gone to Kurthus. I am going to bring back my baby. <laughs> Once and for all, and rid myself of the horrors that I have inflicted on my scalp. <laughs> And I am running with all the with all the speed that my that my body can muster. I am going to get Pepper's hair back to black. Because hey, if the light is no longer in her system, that means this bitch's hair is gonna be back to normal. All right, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Uh, give me my peace. Give me my peace. In a way, I kind of want to keep her hair white because it's like it's grown on me now and I do like the lore. But you know what? I'm making it canon. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 that she ran to the esthetician and she said, fuck this shit. I want my hair back. And she got it back the second that she returned from mm -mm. Amarant. <sighs> That feels good. That feels so good. All right. Whew. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> no, no more come here. No more come here. Oh. And her armor was repaired while she was gone. She's back to normal. <sighs> but it won't last. I am hoping that while I play through um, the post Shadowbringers content, I'll be able to come up with a new look for her. Oh! Damn. All right. Now, let's return. Okay, it was right there. All right. I could have just I could have just walked. <laughs> But you know what? <laughs> Jay, did you want me to RP walk? I'm coming back. What? Are oh, were people waiting for me? Oh, what? What did you want to do? Look at this. Jay has sent me three separate messages. <laughs> he said <laughs> he. You say, and then shout, and then tell. Jay, what? I'm so sorry. Hello. <laughs> I didn't mean to keep missing y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, we were lined up to greet you at several spots. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, 
Look, Pepper's got her own agenda, y'all. Pepper's got shit to do. I ruined Jay's moment. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, boo-hoo. What will I ever do? All right, y'all. I'm gonna go see what... See what, um... Graha has for us because I still need to collect my Shadowbringers reward. I do believe they owe me 7,500 gil. Which is a lot for, well, not me, but. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put Pepper out of her armor. I'm going to say she's not in her armor right now. She is in. She is back in her cutie pie, sweetie pie, coochie poochie, poopy look. All right? All right. Let's go see what he's got. Oh my god, I'm, it's not even the, the check mark. I'm not even done. Oh my god. Oh, we still have to go home, right? By your deeds has the blinding light been banished from these skies, and the Sin Eaters driven to retreat. Although our many hurts will be years in the mending, I have faith that this world and her people will one day be whole once more. You're welcome. With no rejoining in prospect, the Source need no longer fear the coming of an eighth umbral calamity. We did it. We did good. And with that triumph, the future from which you came will no longer come to pass. Yet here you still stand. So I do. I wonder if that other age continues onward somehow, cut adrift from time's flow. Or have I simply etched myself a place upon this new block of history? Either way, this is an unexpected development. Is he gonna stay? As the summoner of your souls, my death was meant to release you back to your world. So what happens now? Yet I am very much alive, and you are still stuck here in the first. Um, what does this mean for us? I believe I speak for us all when I say that we are happy to postpone our return if it means your life is spared. We will seek out another way. Besides, I never had any intention of rushing home. There are people here I still need to thank, and this means I might actually have time to do so. If I have to do, like, errands with them, I'm gonna scream. Yet we dare not neglect our comrades in the source. Mistress Tataru, <gasps> to name but Tataru. one, will be most anxious to know how things stand with us. I wonder how much time has gone by. I wonder if she's still waiting so, for me outside the you'll bar. you'll just have to make the journey alone for the moment. Be sure and give a full report to our fellow Scions, would you? Oh, and we'd also appreciate any news you can bring us from back home. Then I see no reason to delay. I can open the path from here. Oh. I imagine we each have matters demanding our attention, so let this be a farewell for us all. Is Reen coming with us? I mean, I would assume so. Send right? word when you've resummoned our friend. Oh, and do try to ensure she arrives within the city next time. <laughs> of course. I shall strive for utmost accuracy. No strange forests or unplanned passengers, I promise. Thank you. First class only. <laughs> What's up? I'm a little relieved, to be honest. I would have been terribly lonely if everyone had suddenly disappeared. Oh. <laughs> intends to stay then? 
But I understand that you have to go. Safe journey, warrior of darkness. I hope to see you again soon. Just a moment while I attune the portal, then you can be on your way. I'm scared, Chad. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand Toes. tall Toes. as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. We all saw nothing. And then one day, an all but forgotten dream from my For youth free? stood before me in the flesh. A hero who looked at the horizon and beyond and saw I knew not what. All I knew was that I would give anything to stand at that hero's side. Would that it was so easy. The glory of the heavens was ever beyond the grasp of those who never thought to reach for it. But if I have gained anything from all of this, it is the courage to stretch out my hand. Do you hear me, Grahatia? This is no time for sleeping. I'm digging too deep. I'm digging too deep. Oh. Oh my god, I forgot about these cooks. <laughs> I forgot about fucking Gaius and Astinian and Xenos and oh my god. Ashley fucking Tisdale. Go, 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 go! I wonder if this is hmm. happening right now. Like, so much time has passed in in the first, but it's still, like, it's only been, like, a week, or even, like, a couple of days in the source. To the West Gate. I want to know what's happening there. Because they've been showing the updates very slowly. I wonder... Same as the others, struck down with a single blow. An unfortunate day to draw guard duty. Forgive me. These were your people. We took advantage of this slaughter to slip into the palace. Tis not for me to grieve them. God, Gaius is so hot. <laughs> that was the Emperor. Oh, fuck. Oh, Wh fuck. Wait! Ugh. You know, I really thought I'd see more of Astinian in Shadowbringers, but I guess he's going to be more of a dominant in Endwalker. You radiance! Gaius, you've missed your part in this, I'm afraid. Oh my god. 
Identify yourself, demon! You were hoping for the Asian? The Craven shed this skin and fled, rather than face me. A pity. I was looking forward to crossing blades with myself. But I cannot deny the feeling of satisfaction. Body and soul reunited at last. Ashley Tisdale is back! What now? The game continues, but the pieces have changed. High School Musical has returned! Only if we trust in a paragon's words. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. Gaius! Uh... He speaks the truth. Elidibus is gone. Tore a hole into the rift. Bye bye, Elder Bussy. <sighs> Xenos, my foolish, greedy son. Was a second life not enough? Was the Empire too rich a prize to ignore? True freedom for our nation, our people, will never be won by a spoiled princeling. The burden of this throne is beyond you. Oh, he's not gonna like that. Rip that pretty head off. Hmm. Tis you, father, who have struggled with this burden. Simply holding the Empire together has occupied your limited faculties. But you may take comfort in knowing that I have no intention of pursuing your tedious agenda. Nor am I interested in ruling over the Empire's lands. I came only to remove that which ruins my sport. I will not have my prey stolen by your petty wars and cowardly weapons. You would kill me just for that. Yeah? Your son is insane. I need no other reason. Any and all who interfere with my hunt... ...will not do so twice! You know, this game has Bollywood levels of drama. <laughs> I heard the Asians speak of Zodiac and Eidolon. Even the will of this star is but a construct of our own making. We shall gorge upon their strength, and then, my friend, our contest shall begin anew. Girl, Ashley Tisdale Zeta! is out for fucking blood. <laughs> She bop her way to the motherfucking top. Oh shit. Oh, the no shot. Oh, speak with Tataru. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I'm back to where it began. Oh, oh I want to know. I want to know how much time has passed. I want to know. I want to know how long it's been. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh my god, she's gonna be- she's gonna be freaking the fuck out! Tataru is seven feet tall? Oh my god, she grew. Yeah, it's like four Lollafells in a trench coat with Tataru on the top. Chat, how we- how we, uh, how we feeling? We still feeling good? Ashley Tinsdale, OMG, I'm still got some monster heads right next. Thank you, Rhea, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. All right, 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 all right. Where am I going? I'm going in here. Oh, I want to see her so bad. Oh. Hey, Madeline. I give hug. It's nice to see you, buddy. Okay. 
Thank you for the head pets. Is it just gonna shoot me into a cutscene? Or am I gonna have to go fight? Oh, there she is. Tataru! 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 Look up, bitch! I'm home! Big stretch. Huh? But, 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 Pepper? Is it really you? B b how? When? We didn't think you'd be back for ages! Time was in mysterious ways. Would you rather I went again? <laughs> Oh, don't be daft. I just can't believe you're actually back. We heard the good news from your pixie friend, but nothing compares to seeing you in the flesh. Oh. As for the situation on the side, the Imperials are still eyeing our forces from afar. From what I am told, the Garlean armies have been slow to react and seem reluctant to commit to any large-scale engagements. It's an odd sort of uh, stalemate, stalemate. Otherwise, we've yet to see any sign of that awful Black Rose weapon we were warned about. Oh, but I suppose we did call in an old friend to help out on that count. He oh, it's Kryle! Kryle and I had a terrible time- to Oh, no! Terrible time tracking him down, though it'll be worth it to see the look on your face when you find out who it is. Is it- Gaius? No. Anyway. Anyway, I was just about to make contact with this helper of ours, and then confirm the latest news from the front. Might you have- Might you fancy having a rest while I do? Ah, the warrior of light, back where she belongs. Just as if nothing had happened. Though you do seem different somehow. You'll have to tell me all about your adventures when we next have a spare moment. Until then, welcome back! That was a little less eventful than I anticipated. Oh, I get the wine of Graha! Uh, than I anticipated. I thought she would have been like a sobbing mess, but it hasn't been that long, I guess. <laughs> you seem different. New hair? <laughs> Oh. What's well, Elder Bussy? Oblivion has claimed him. Who Emmett? Emmett Selk, gone. Bread, gone. I alone remain, the last of the unbroken. Once more, I am moved to reevaluate the potential of these tattered souls. Ah, Xenos. Never did I dream you could over- Oh, right! Overpower me so completely, possessed as I was of your body and all its uncanny strength. Now that I have shared with you the truth of this world and its reflections, who can predict how events will unfold? Not I. Emissary. What a poor jest the title has become. The flow of history has become muddled- or muddied. Its currents wind its currents wild beyond my capacity to direct them. You have wrested the advantage, Heidelin. Thieving hands of your disciples tighten their grip on our star. The origins of the world remain hidden and its inhabitants ignorance of their broken existence, just as you and your creator is desired. They celebrate the gift of imperfect life, uncaring, unknowing as we weaken and fade. What a good fucking monologue. But do not imagine yourself rid of us. Though your champion has indeed proven the most egre is it egregious obstacle to our ascendance, a barbed thorn in my side, she may yet be removed and cast into the abyss. Oh yes, it can be done. I will keep these heroes mired in the first, and victory will be ours at the last. Warriors of darkness now, are they? Then their fate is decided. They shall meet the same end as those who came before. Death at the hands of warriors of light. What? What is he... what is he planning? Oh, 
of the pixies have- Oh, right, she said that. Right, right, right. Oh. Seems you were right. Yes, there is something out there. But it would mean crossing moms and moms of this infernal emptiness. Which is rather unhealthy for living creatures, as I understand it. Even were we to restrict ourselves to brief forays, I don't like to imagine the effect it would have on our ether. But you still want to go, don't you? We may have saved the world, but we haven't reclaimed it. Put it that way. What choice do we have? Hell yeah. Well, of course I'm going with you. That's what family is for, isn't it? Oh, these two. Come, let's head back and prepare for this mad journey of yours. Thank you, Thancred. Oh, I love them. Kenley! Kenley, thank you for the 20 gifted subs! Thank you so much! Thank you to everyone who gifted a sub! Welcome to the Covenant of your Badger Motes and your stay. Oh, what's going on? What is that? Though blazing skies give way to gentle night, what hand can end the war of dark and light? Trust parties? What's a trust party? By completing the main scenario quest Shadowbringers, you have unlocked the trust system. Trust allows you repeat pre allows you repeat previously completed main scenario dungeons with a party of NPC avatars who gain XP and level up in accordance with their duty participation. <gasps> to bring up the interface, select trust under duty from the main menu. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's neat. Furthermore, bolstered by your experiences in the first, you are now able to accept new quests from job related NPCs in the source. In order to access them, the following conditions must be met. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. In addition, quests to unlock new content have been have now become available in the Crystarium. Rest well, warrior of light and darkness, for two worlds of adventure await your return. <laughs> Alright. Alright! It's done! We did it! We did it! We beat Shadowbringers! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Oh my god! We did it. We did it. I did what? That. I'm so proud of myself. Seven and a half hours of streaming the finale for this game. No, no biggie. Just another day. Man, that was... I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I once again, I need to process this. Um, I will probably be live tomorrow night and maybe we can talk about things. I can start doing some side quests. But if I'm not live tomorrow night, I will be back on Monday to do the same. Um, I think what comes next is the Dark Knight job quest uh the level 80 dark knight job quest i really want to do it um as i was trying to say earlier for those who are new here and don't know this uh the dark knight quest line is very personal to me um i did it at a really rough time in my life which was literally just a year ago in like may or august or i don't know i don't remember when but i did it a year ago um or i guess a few months ago and it echoed so much of what I was learning, processing, and doing in therapy. So it hit different. Everything, it felt like the game was talking to me in the same way that my therapist has been speaking to me. And so I connected with, with the characters, with the story, 
it on such an emotional level. And the cherry on top was Edmund at the end finally, you know, like no longer, you know, like grieving Orshifon. So that made it hurt even more, you know, because like now you're taking my favorite character in the game and then me putting it together fucking hurts. So I'm very excited to do the level 80 quest. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be. Um, I'm excited. It's my favorite. It's pro it's so far been my favorite like side quest line in this whole game. So, ah, I'm excited. Um, but it is 4 a.m. I've been making a ton of noise and surprisingly have not gotten a complaint. Or maybe I have. Let me see. Do I have any missed calls? Nope. No missed calls. We're chilling. Ah. Oh. Yeah, she wrote MSQ and Endwalker. Yeah, I've been warned. I've been warned, Ulmo. The Dark Knight questline is one of the few that isn't just, hey, this job. So I appreciate that much. Yeah. Yeah. It it doesn't just feel like a bunch of fetch quests to get better abilities. It has, um, there's, there's some oomph to it. You know? There's heart in it. When you do the Dark Knight quest, I highly recommend reading your journal as you do steps. Sure. Like, the level 80 one? Sure. Dark Knight Rider did Shadowbringers? I thought... I thought she only did some of it, not all of it. Oh, no, wait, no, she did do Shadowbringers. She didn't do... Or no. I don't fucking remember. I remember one night, chat was, like, trying to tell me what she did and what she didn't. And everyone had a different answer, and so I gave up on caring. All I know is that she is the reason for my pain. <laughs> but I love her. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done, Shadowbringers. Uh, uh, Ishikawa is the main writer for Shadowbringers and N. Walker. Okay, so just pain all around. Just lots of misery and pain. Good. Good to know. All right, so that's it, friends. I will be hopping off now. It's time for me to go take off my makeup, cry in bed, and unfortunately not Google anything because things are going to be spoiled, so I can only speculate with, well, I guess the server. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join my Discord server that way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and hang out with the community and get notified for when I go live next. Hopefully I'll be live tomorrow. Um, if not, you'll see me on Monday. We're not going to be continuing the MSQ immediately. I'm going to absorb some of the side content. I have a level 9. I'm level 90 for Dark Knight, so I'm not concerned about any leveling. Uh, but I will be dipping into Reaper for Endwalker. And this time, my Reaper is at like level 83, so I'm not going to overlevel it. I'm going to leave it there. That way, when I'm in Endwalker, I can actually not be overleveled and have enemies attack me for once. Um, but yeah, that's all friends. We're gonna go raid Pyromancer. I have no idea what he's doing. So we're gonna go give him some hype. Get your pop cats ready. Let's spam them in his chat. Thank you again, friends. I, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.